Welcome everybody to the Sunday streaming. My head is pounding. My heart is pounding. It's everything is pounding on me. That's gross. Welcome everybody. I'm Jeff, as the always. Robbing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's, I didn't use that word. That's your word. It's not my word. Uh, and I was going to say, it doesn't look like your pelvis is pounding. That's I right. I hope it's not, because I don't want it anywhere near me. Well, you know, that guy played, uh, he played uh, uh, Dark Souls with a Guitar Hero controller. I'm going to play San Andreas with a Dance Dance Revolution pad <laughs> <laughs> and a Razor Hydra that's hooked to my belt so that whenever I thrust my hips forward, it shoots the gun. I used <laughs> to love the Nintendo pad. The power pad? Yes, All right, well, so let's, much. We're going to get the show here. We were playing a game. On the road. We were on playing, the 360. Uh, it's Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the 360, apparently the terrible, awful, horrible version of this game, but I gotta tell you, like, you can play it on the PS3 with like PS2 emulation, yeah. that's supposed to kind of be the best one. The PC, it's just, it doesn't have controller support, so you've got to go in and map every single individual control from the Grand Theft Auto series to your uh, gamepad, and it just doesn't, it doesn't feel real good to mm. me, at least, so. Five years on the East Coast. Plus... We're streaming, so it's not exactly like I'm capturing super high-resolution video. So and are we watching Die Hard 2? That's what it is. No, Die Hard 1. It's, it's no, Die Hard 2 is in the Dallas airport. Yeah, Die oh. Hard 2 is in the airport. Well, Die Hard 1 also is in the airport. It's in Nakatomi building. Okay. There are things I know about Die Hard. Okay. <laughs> I uh, might be a Die Hard. It's been a, it's been a long time since I've played this. Uh... I remember when it came out, I really, really, really liked it. Oh, they Samuel. said die harder. Die harder. That was the, the subtitle for the movie in uh, Europe, right? Die Hard 2, Die Harder? I yep. don't know. Yes, it is. I think. By the way, hi, everybody. I'm Kayla. Yeah. I'm John. Yeah. <laughs> I, gave you guys, I totally gave you guys the opening for that before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I like to do it when it's my turn. But you terms. start talking about. Throbbing and pounding and right. stuff like that, and we had to capitalize on that. Okay. And also distance ourselves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want my name after throbbing. <laughs> Hi, I'm throbbing, and I'm Kayla. <laughs> okay, I can understand that. I'm kind of surprised, Kayla, that you're not hearing your ALF costume. Was, I've seen every picture you've posted on Facebook for the last three days has been you in an ALF costume. Yes. <laughs> I was an amazing elf. I was the cat that elf ate. Yeah. And then I decapitated elf and took over his body. Oh, is that? Host. Okay, you didn't tell me that second part. <laughs> yeah. Because you were just walking around that party and you had, I mean, it, it, the elf body is not exactly super identifiable, right? Yeah. If you look at the toes, yes. Okay. But you were just, you had this fuzzy suit on. And you had, like, cat makeup on. <laughs> and you were like, I'm the cat that Alf ate. And I'm like, well, then why is your body Alf? I doesn't doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of I was, sense. I was using it as a host. Okay. Because cats are short. Nah, you ain't never been clean, Carl. Okay. Compared to Alf. Uh, so. I was lucky. Okay. But I won. Okay. All right. Take that, Shumways. That's right. But it was a delightful oh, holiday. Yeah. Except for the fact that I'm still hung over from Friday yeah, night. Yes. No way. Yeah. I spent oh. all day yesterday just laying on the ground going, Ugh, and watching, watching movies that I haven't seen yet. Now this morning, after I helped my sister, mm -hmm. that's what I just stayed in our dark bedroom Yeah. until it was 2 o'clock, and then I got up and cleaned a bunch of dog poop, and then came I'm, I live a really glorious life. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yes, John? Yeah, no, I've been play doing nothing but playing Borderlands oh, pretty sequel for the last two days. So. No, I didn't see you on Halloween. What were you? Uh, I was a uh, WWE wrestler Bray Wyatt. Very good. And Jeff, what were you? I was just a holy man, man of the cloth, a man of the, the dong cloth. Lord, Lord Donga, please. Yeah. Uh, oh, get wow. Get a bike. Okay, Take get a bike. bike. Someone in the chat said they're born tomorrow. Then how are they typing today? That's right. You're too young <laughs> to be watching the show. Uh, which one is the pedal button? Okay. But happy birthday. There we go. Wee! All right. How do, where's, where is not Bala's country? I'm, I'm trying to get out. Uh, how do you... Was it... You alternate? <laughs> okay, you just hold it down. 
I don't know if they made control adjustments to the bike riding. I seem to remember it being like you had to alternate. No, but that's the, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't remember. Ow. That. Yeah, I think they changed that or something. Oh yeah, like for the first like twenty minutes of this game, you don't even have a car, right? You're just riding your bike around. Yeah, your your stolen bike. Okay. Grand Theft Bike. You got three hundred fifty dollars and all the time in the world. That's right. We're just Let's go buy like three hundred and fifty lemon heads. Are lemon heads a buck a piece? Lemon heads are expensive now. Uh, okay. Like those giant boxes of them. Uh huh. Oh, okay. <gasps> All right, where can we? <laughs> they said bike riding. What is this, Austin? That's right. Where are we? Where no, are we there'd going? be a lot oh. more hills. Are we going? Is that we're going to the house? Oh. Probably. Uh, jump over the wall. We're going to the CJ icon. <laughs> jump You're over the wall. So good at BMXing. Okay, yeah. Go to the CJ icon. That's a good one. Thank you, John. As I said, hang over. What's yeah. that? Oh, there we go. Up, up, up. What's hey. that? I'm here. That's a, a residence. It's the Jefferson Motel. Oh. You nice know, see where he's going to get some sprunk. The sprunk. Get some sprunk on. I liked, uh, was it in Was it in the fifth one with the Ebola cola? Was that? That might have what? been. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. That was like the fake. What? Wait, what? Ebola cola? Is it just a, it's a bunch of, it's a shoe orgy in here. Just yeah. nothing but. No, that's just my closet. Oh, uh, okay. Your closet is, Kayla's closet, the shoe orgy. Yeah. It's just a room full of shoes. Where am I going? I thought I went to the CJ thing. No, you went to just a hotel. Oh, okay. Well, then let me get the hell out of here. Run, CJ. Run. How come no one's shutting their hotel room doors? Uh, Do they have doors? I think so. This might be a very special hotel. Right. Where you watch? It's a yes. ghost hotel. There's nobody in here. Oh, okay. Well, wait. Where'd my bike go? Well, your bike's gone now. What? Welcome to LA, sucker. Uh, Someone stole it. Damn it. Now they you gotta run. They stole my vehicle in a Grand Theft Auto game? Come on. Give me that. Give me it. CJ, give me the car. Get out of there. I'm having this. <laughs> so when's the last time you played this game? Probably when it came out. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think that I haven't actually gone what back. What year was that? Oh, oh. Um, somebody with uh, an electronic device would have to look it up because time uh, is a mystery to me. Can I turn? <laughs> they oh. said it was the Kayla's Place San Andreas mod. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it came out a few years after it came out on the, on the PS, because it's a PS2 original Xbox game. And then, um, Street. Whoop, okay. At least it was before I fucked everything up. Um, and then initial release date October twenty sixth of two thousand four. Two thousand four. Tim is ten years old. This game is old enough to have behavioral That's disorders. The reason for the release on the. Uh, I, I the don't Xbox think you 360. have to be that old to have behavioral disorders. Oh says yeah. The person teaching five year olds. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No. Yeah. You're right. This was they did build this releasing it on the three sixty is like a tenth anniversary thing, right? So. Two thousand four. Yeah. I was in college. Mm -hmm. I had just moved to San Marcos, and I lived in a trailer park, and I was the prettiest girl in the trailer park, according to Is the residents. Does console say Google on it? I don't know. I still had dial-up internet. Okay. And I was listening to a lot of punk rock music. Right. I'm trying to think of what 2004... I think that I was living with my friend Mike uh, in the... This is like two houses ago, an apartment up here in North Austin, and we were going downtown every weekend to We are ruining his head moment, by the way. You picked the wrong <laughs> house, fool! Hey, 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 Big Smoke! Oh, it's, it's Big me, Smoke! Carl. Chill, chill! <laughs> it's so funny how oh, primitive the facial uh, expressions on these guys are. <laughs> like, it, it, I mean, I know it's a PlayStation 2 game, but it's funny to... Like, this game is so revered. It's been so long since I've actually looked at what the graphics for this game looked like. And I remember when it came out, it was the best-looking, most sophisticated Grand Theft Auto. Right. Maybe yeah. even, like, video game at the time. Yeah. Like, you could do so much, and now... I mean, I'm sure that it's, it's pr still a great game, but... Yeah. The chat would like to let us know that they were 11 when this game came out. Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was... In Houston, working at a dial-up service 
provider. <laughs> yeah. So you talked about C. having dial up. Yeah. I've worked for a company My that provided dial up. fun of me endlessly. Yeah, cool. Cuz at that Four. point Small. having you know like it's high speed internet was a thing that people had. Yeah. I still had the thing go You know that sound? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, I do. I, I, I do. know I what am you're aware of modem speak. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, and you go like make yourself toast, and then you go mm -hmm. and you'd click on MySpace, and then you'd go oh, and space. put oh, jelly on your toes. Right. Nobody had an nobody had an iPhone. There was no such thing as a smartphone <laughs> at that point. <laughs> I don't even think 2004 think was. Facebook even really much of a thing in 2004? It was huh? for college people. Yeah, but Facebook wasn't like the ubiquitous, just everybody has it <laughs> I thing. It was, I thought it was MySpace at that time. <laughs> right, well, and then there wasn't Twitter, obviously, yeah. at that time. <laughs> they said my dial-up is as good as your blog. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna have. I'm gonna make a little pre-recorded thing. That's the start of. That's the intro for every uh, streaming Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's dialing. Kayla doing. Kayla beatbox scatting the dialing up to the internet noise. Man, it's just crazy. Everybody blasts on fools first, then ask questions second. Oh, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. But. I was on, because I was into music, mm -hmm. I didn't transfer over to Facebook mm -hmm. as quickly as other people did because MySpace my could embed so much music. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I used it for, for knowing the shows and all that thing yeah. of all the bands I liked. And it was just better for music. And then someone else bought it, and, it was, and they ruined that functionality. Yeah. Apparently, still people DJ. still use MySpace. Yeah. I, I mean, I heard that it was still a thing, mostly for music, because of yeah. the music yeah. embedded stuff that nobody really uses it for social communication, but they'll use it to uh, uh, to find bands and stuff like that. Though I did have a person from junior high go write me a message. Hey, Kayla, yeah. how are you? Can I be? Remember me from junior high? Is this what like last week or two weeks it was, ago? It was like two years ago. Uh, okay. I'm like, do you know people? Oh, whoa. Do you a little bit of a hop. I'm trying. I Whee. did delete all my ah! my crazy <laughs> blog posts, though. Um, get the hell out of here. Um, yeah, I just remember uh, right after Facebook, kind of right or right when Facebook started, right before MySpace was like while it's on its initial deathbed. Mm -hmm. I remember like all these other like social type sites uh, popping up. Like it was one called like Comic Space, which was basically MySpace for comic book people, people who liked comics. Yeah. Uh, not to mention like there was just a ton of them, and like Facebook was the only good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember that. They said they use they still use Friendster. Oh, <laughs> terrible. He just ran over that guy. It's fine. He'll be all right. This is only a bike. Actually, he died. <laughs> okay. His money popped out. Well. So, do you guys like ambient music? No. Uh, ambient no. music? What, well, what, I've the always, is, what the hell is ambient music? I've always music? heard it referred to as ambient music, but whatever. <laughs> uh, it's usually, oh, we're fancy here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> electronic ambient. music oh. that's very kind of like uh, slow. or uh, It's very uh, kind of ethereal and moody. And I don't hate it. I don't particularly like go out of my way to listen to it, but I don't uh, hate it. Trip hop is uh, that's the way that I, that's what I do. Trip hop? Trip hop. But uh, ambient, like... I get massages because mm -hmm. I'm a fancy pants lady. Yeah. And I just, you, you just love, I just love it. And also sometimes for when my students are writing, I'll put wordless kind of mood music to kind of inspire them. Yeah. Do you guys listen to Iraqi death metal? No. No, no. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know that was a thing. I like, um, once again, I'm more into uh, Russian hardcore rap. That's, that's really? Yeah. Like which band? Um, 
no, uh, not more of a joke than anything else, but there was in Grand Theft Auto uh, 4, there was a Russian station that had a bunch of like Russian hip hop on it. Yeah. Uh, King King Ring by, what was that, Gr- Grupa Krovi or whatever. That was a really good song. It got stuck in my head forever. Everyone wants you to go to a, a Cluck Cluck and, or a Cluck and Bell. And, uh, a Cluck Bell? Uh, What's get, a Cluck Bell? Get CJ really fat. Okay, we can get it. They, they want you to max out the fat meter. Okay, we can get a fat CJ before this is over. Okay. Is that a thing you can do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This was the first game that kind of introduced that mechanic where you yeah. could make your character fat or mus- super muscular, mm-hmm. or depending on what you do. How did. do we get muscular? You got to go to the gym. You eat a lot, and then you also go to the gym and run and do things like that. Uh, How buffy can you get? He's like mm, Wesley Snipes ish. Okay. Uh, you know, it was pretty. I mean, when I played. I had a very militant CJ uh, who was like super buff, and um, okay, go inside CJ's house. Well, I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can find a cluck and belt. Uh, oh, none of this is. Yeah, I think that that the menus are why people hate this port. This port. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know where there is a. Well, why can't I? Okay, let's hit this again for map. All right. Uh, I haven't found any. There's a pay and spray, a couple yeah, of safe houses. One, yeah. But when you do. When I do. I swear, you guys, as soon as we find a Cluck and Bell, I will go in there and I will spend every money that CJ has on chicken or <laughs> uh, a burger shot either. I mean, just one of them. We also need to make sure that you have, you know, the money to, to make them fat. I think to I can buy the burgers. I think 350 bucks. I think I can get 350 right. bucks worth, worth, of, uh, worth of hamburgers. I wish, you know, I wish that when they put this out, like when they put this version out, or if they did these like remastered things, right? Yeah. That they just, <laughs> they just integrated the hot coffee mod <laughs> into the game. Because I don't know if I think that would have got them in trouble. Still, you think so? And I think they just want to. Think anybody it. really cares at this point? Uh, I think for the most part, no. Yeah. But I, I think that they don't want to chance it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what that is, Kayla? The. Do you remember that? The hot coffee at McDonald's. No. The. The uh, uh, so this particular game well, had has this is also one of the first times hey, in GTA so where you can date away, women right yeah and you take them out on dates and uh, you level up your dating thing with them and then eventually you know you'll go into their house with them and then the screen fades to black and it comes back up and they're your girlfriend or whatever but it turns out that they had a whole sex mini game built into Grand Theft Auto uh, San Andreas um, that modders figured out how to unlock and get access to. And it caused this huge kind of controversy because people were like, oh, my God, it's fucking in this video game. It was Jack Thompson. Hey, man, what you scrap for? Man, some pizza place keeps paying no raw hit up, man. Shit is beautiful. Teach the owner a lesson. Fucking Grove Street. You damn I'm always dead. Anyway, I think that they should have just added all that back into the game and just said, the hell with it. Just make it M-rated, right? Who cares? Like, at the time, I guess it's possible they could have, like, lost a, a fair amount of sales if it was. But, uh, like, this wasn't M-rated, was it? I thought it was. Or was it M-rated? I thought it was M-rated. Or was that, like, kind of the whole, okay. Guys, I'm sorry, but I am going to, because of um, because of the things on Twitch with the music stuff, I, I don't think that, does you guys know if that works live? Like, I'm worried about the radio, about getting tagged with, uh, so oh. uh, the music, the uh, licensed yeah. music on the radio. So Don't even risk it. I'm gonna go. Just, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off for the moment. <laughs> even though this game has like a rad soundtrack. I can't remember if this. The punk stations where I had a couple friends get their like songs on it, or if it's another one. Oh, and but San GTA. Andreas. Yeah. All right. San Andreas had a really good. Actually, I've liked all the soundtracks for pretty much all of the Grand Theft Auto games. I didn't like. I didn't like five very much. I didn't like the uh, new well, one. Like that's good. I mean, I can't really comment on that one. I didn't really play it all that much. Yeah. I kind of got to a point in the game that I was just like, nope, oh. I can't deal with this. All right. What should we get, you guys? What are we getting? Afro and stash. How do you grow hair? Flat Is this top. like one of those Play-Doh dolls? This just you, you just pick. Just... You just pick what you want. Holy crap! The flat top is five hundred dollars. Y- yeah. Wow. Yeah. I can't you afford. Want the kid play, you know. Oh you need man. The... Now is it the? I wonder if it is the the kid can play really tall flat top, or is it just a normal flat top? No idea. Afro one fifty. Good God. 
Um, we're gonna a lot have to of people are saying afro or afro and goatee. That's all of our money. We won't be able to make him fat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll go with the afro and, and beard. That's two fifty. That'll leave us a hundred dollars for. Uh, that'll leave us a hundred dollars for cheeseburgers. All right. No wait. No. They they would like you to oh, um sing. They would like me to sing Say some not, some NWA brother. or 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 some some type of rap thing. Yes. But they want him to sing or they want me to sing. All of y'all. They don't uh, want to hear me sing. They yeah, only, they do. They only think they do. Sing they don't really know what they're CG. asking about. They're asking for. <laughs> All right. <coughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay. I'm trying Sing. to actually remember the the lyrics to the. To be Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Uh, which is funny because I only know the, the like, I don't, like, I've never really listened to, the, well, well, I did listen to the original version of it, but I only listened to the, the white boy cover of it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, so that that's you know, mainly how I know I'm the lyrics to it. Mm-hmm. Old Reese still got it cracking. <coughs> <laughs> Man, what's this? Shit look ridiculous. <laughs> it does. They say oh, Kayla signed shit. body count. What does that mean? They want you to sing body count. The band body count. I don't know I'm things. <laughs> I tried singing karaoke this weekend. Yeah. It was fun to be in the karaoke room. Yeah. I'm great backup singer. I'm a terrible lead singer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't remember everything unless I've been practicing it all. So that's always been my rule for karaoke is if you're going to sing a karaoke song, it's got to be a song where if there wasn't music playing and you didn't have a panel up in front of you, Shoot you still know all the words. Range. All right. Pizza. Let's get the full rack. So we'll get John to sing Straight out of Compton. I don't know the words to say <laughs> we'll, Straight out of Compton. We'll, we'll have Enjoy to. Summer. We'll learn it over the break. Okay. And then it will Please be the worst. High, I'm going to. Okay, I got. Enjoy your meal, sir. Just going to buy like $60 worth of a uh, full rack, I think. And there's another one. Okay, that's as much. I'm going to keep 20 bucks so just in case. So do you like NWA, John? NWA? I, I don't listen. It, again, rap and hip-hop is not something I, I I go out of my way to listen to. But I'll listen to it if it's, if it's on the radio and this if it's away. good. So. Rider, not this and then again. John needs to get louder. Uh, louder, louder, louder. Get to, uh, go over to the mixer Shit, there, John. You crazy. Let's get up out of Same old CJ. Buster. Straight Buster. And oh, shit. Run. Uh, oh. This pizza parlor's no Body fat over. increased. How is that? Is that better, everyone? Uh oh. Can you hear me now? Oh. So when your body weight gets bigger, does it tilt your car? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Uh. So. Uh, they said since John doesn't know rap, he should probably sing Call Me Maybe. <laughs> because, you know, that's the other thing, right? <laughs> and, of course, I know the lyrics to Call Me Maybe. Can you, uh, can you, can you sing us some NWA, John? No? How about... Call me maybe. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you insist. Uh, uh, wow. That's a kilo house. Carrying wood around in the back of his car. Been yapping on about that graffiti too. Later, home. I think I need. I think I need a lot more money to get fatter. I don't yeah, think I, I've. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I think you're gonna need to like do a heist or something to get enough money to. Did you eat? I ate like six pizzas or something well, did, like that. I thought you does it not do is that or is that later that when Let's you see. buy the food it puts it in an inventory? I don't know. Let's see. Stats, stats. No, my fat's up to forty six percent. All right, good job. All right. It may just be. Maybe do I have to go like sleep and then when I wake up his body will have changed? Let's see. Do you guys like sriracha? I thought we got asked that last time. Didn't yeah. You know what? We will ask it every time okay. until everyone knows okay. forever. Okay. Oh, like, yep. CJ's uh, definitely bigger now. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little bit of a gut. He got a little just, bit of a gut. Just like I always ask you, when's the podcast? The podcast, the podcast was podcast. yesterday. Yeah. Suckers. Oh, the podcast <laughs> is already up. Um, 
Sriracha, not really the biggest fan in the world. I mean, I don't hate it, but I just don't generally put it on stuff. Um, but as Why do you think people like it? <laughs> What's that? Why do you think people like it? I mean, I think that um, people like I, I, is It's spicy, right? It's fairly spicy. Yeah. It's kind of zippy and spicy, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's one thing that I didn't understand for a long time. Um, until somebody explicitly told me, they were like, you do know that capsaicin like, is habit-forming, right? The thing that makes food spicy, yeah. that it, it gets you kind of high when you eat a lot of it. And it's actually, will you, you, people like that high because I've always been of the, of the impression, or of the, I've always been like, I don't understand why people like super spicy stuff because I can't even taste the food when it's like really super spicy. Um, but then that started to make more sense about the fact that the shit's like habit forming. So I just think it has a good flavor. Like yeah, I like don't, I don't use it like hot sauce. I yeah. use it to add flavor to things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's used to enhance the flavor, not to drown out the flavor. Um, that's like usually like when I go to like Chipotle, for example, where I'm like, hey, only put a little bit of the hot sauce on there. Yeah, I just want it for the flavor. Don't bury my, you know, drown my food in it like they sometimes do. Yeah, I never, just never really got into the whole spicy food thing. Just There's another never. two baller tags in the hood. You go get them, and I'll keep the engine running. So, oh, what do you think of fan fiction? Um, I'm okay with it. Don't have any serious issue or anything. Are you gonna marry fan fiction? Yeah, I love it so much. I want to kiss it on the mouth and marry it. Uh, how do I make this? <laughs> how do I make this be a thing? Like I can apparently attack with the spray can. Oh, there we go. How about tricky? Do you like a tricky? I like uh, tricky by Run DMC. Okay. Um, I never really got into. I have uh, friends who were way more into tricky than I was. Um, it's all right. I don't even know what that is. Maxine Quay. Yeah, it was kind of a. Uh, he's a. Um, where the hell is this tag? He was a uh, 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 kind of trip hop dude. And he had like at least one or two kind of big radio hits. Where the hell. Okay, it's got me. Or wait, am I looking for something besides the green dot? I thought I was looking for the green dot. I thought you were looking for the green dot. So it would seem to be this house. Is it inside of this house? No. Can I just spray the thing and then we'll leave and what are you writing grove street you know, trying to is tag that how over. you make a g <laughs> maybe it's on the si maybe it's on the other side of the wall outside of the side of the, behind you like over that here? wall yeah oh, okay maybe maybe hey good job john you're welcome that's why i'm here uh it's like slimer yep He's pretty liberal with the uh, with the spray can. Come on, see. You have to do a hundred sprays. It, you can. It's one of the collectible things in the game. Oh. Yeah, it's like over the course of the entire game, you can find a hundred of those. And. Um, Come on, let's go to the baller's territory. Okay, All watch right. out about your radio. Oh, yep. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. And Jeff, you slime them. Can I set that? Is that an option that I can change? Let's see, like, favorite radio station. Audio setup. So fix radio, auto-tune on, and station off. Radio off. Nope. You're going to auto-tune off? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sounds <Yep>. amazing. <laughs> All right. Um... Yeah, I was going to say, the podcast is already out, and if you guys haven't listened to it, you should! It's, it's very some, important. There's some important information there. And uh, if people have any questions about that whole... Okay, I'm totally missing. I forgot... You can wait for the next podcast. When Suckers! games uh, didn't have like a big line on the street on the map that tells you where to go. Right. Uh... No, if they have questions, they can ask them. Yeah, okay. feel free to ask. I mean, We're a very Q&A of... oriented <laughs> kind of uh, show. And one of the reasons I put that up a day early was so that if people had questions. pressing questions, they could ask them on the live show today. Yes. So. so they would like you to kill some people and take their money. Okay. And then use that money but to get But is this like Fable where you, if you play it nice, you're super nice? And no. if you play it mean, you're super mean? No. 
you don't get horns or halos in this game. <laughs> um, You're like, I gotta go spray paint this pink. That's right. I like that the the colors of the gangs are early '90s Spurs. Oh. Colors. <laughs> Lime green and hot pink. Yep. <laughs> uh oh, we can run a two man gang now. Okay. So, what games are left for November? COD, Far Cry, and Assassin's Creed? Um, Halos? Dragon Age Inquisition. Yep. Um, WWE 2K15 for the PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah. Um, uh, both of the Assassin's Creed, yeah, yeah, both Rogue and Unity, Far Cry 4, um, <laughs> Call of Duty. Um, how do I? Okay, screw it. I, I'm just going to paint over this. Paint it, CJ. CJ, paint it. No, no. The cops are coming to arrest me on a. You're just slamming all over people. Spray painted them in the face. Murders people. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Because they can't breathe. Uh. So. Does everyone on the podcast yesterday have Ebola? Luckily, I wasn't on the podcast yesterday. All so the I people who listened to the podcast yesterday have Ebola? Is that what they're asking? No, they said, does everyone that was on the podcast have Ebola? Uh-huh. So do Jason and I have Ebola? Yes. No. So my sister had a baby. Uh-huh. Amazing. And was it, a, but it was Ebola? It, it was an Ebola. It was an Ebola baby? No, it's a little crazy. boy. But in every bathroom in the whole hospital, including all the pregnant areas, uh -huh. just signs about Ebola and how you catch it and how you prevent it. Uh -huh. Like, I'm like, number one concern right now is not Ebola. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's crazy that people are like, hospitals are where Ebola live. Yeah. Not necessarily. So is Loretta pregnant? Is that the major announcement? What? I hope not. <laughs> so people who haven't uh, heard the podcast. Okay, Seriously. yeah, I forgot. We probably had to do this. Yes. Um, all right, folks, for those of you who have not listened to the podcast, you should go listen to the podcast for more details. But the short version of it is that uh, Jason is having to kind of take a step back from being on regular videos on the website for right now. Um he will be definitely be around, and there's not any, like, B4 problem or anything with us. It's just that he's kind of got a lot of stuff on his plate right now, and he can't um, he can't devote the same amount of time that he's been able to in the past to Rage Slight. So it'll be the sort of thing where he's on from time to time, but just not on every video regularly. Um, now, the answer to the questions that I'm sure people have is, number one, uh, all videos, well, I'm going to try to keep the schedule as unchanged as humanly possible with maybe the exception of um, running one of our Patreon videos for Sequential Saturday. And I did say on the podcast that I was going to put uh, Academy and Super Awesome Video Game Show both on and Jeff versus Beer on hiatus. The longer that I look at it, the more I don't think that's even going to be necessary. Because it's like, well, if John comes over to record one Patreon video with me, it seems kind of stupid that we don't just do the other super awesome video game show uh, at the same time. Ooh, I can rob the Cluck and Bell and yeah. then take the money uh, to uh, another Cluck and Bell. To another or Cluck to the same Cluck and Bell. Or to Pizza Shack. And what the hell? So the Jason thing isn't permanent or temporary. It's just a new schedule. Just less of him. Um, well, it, I mean, you know, in the case that for right now, it is like I don't want people to be thinking that, um, oh, it's just a matter of time until Jason is back full time. I can't answer that question because it's we don't know what the future looks like. That's correct, because I am not John Connor. So um, you aren't. Hey, okay. give me the money. Give me the money. I don't know if this is how you get money or not. I can't remember. I'm just I think you're only supposed to. Like, put a, pull a gum on them, uh, or uh, them. that's uh, another uh, way you can do uh, it. Uh, uh. All right, this is my store now. Give me all your chicken. Give me a chicken. Like, I don't think I have a gun yet, though. Oh well, there you go. There's your maybe problem. That's the, maybe that's the the issue. Can't rob them. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. I don't want like that's the one thing that I wanted to try to make clear is that, um, you know, I don't. Th I think it would be easier if people are not sitting around every day waiting for the day when Jason says, I'm coming back full time, because that may or may not happen. I just don't know. 
Um, it's not really my decision. So all I can tell you is, in the meantime, um, we're going to try to kind of keep everything. All of the video density that we've got right now, we're going to try to keep as much to that as humanly possible. It may require dropping one or two videos. It may require running, uh, you know, our, like, uh, Grant and I's last of us playthrough on Saturday for a few weeks until I can kind of get the rest of it straightened out. But... Uh, but yeah, that's the short of it. And one of the reasons that I put the podcast up yesterday instead of Sequential Saturday was so that if people had more questions, they could ask them today. Yes. And then another question that's kind of coming up is, is Allison going to take less of a presence? She's already been kind of on and off Right. Well, Allison, I mean, the thing is that there's folks like, um, like Allison uh, and in some cases, uh, I think the... And Brian Salisbury kind of falls into that same category, which are people that I will ask to come on the show, um, and sometimes they can and sometimes they can't. But for me, the main thing is just that, like, when you and I were doing the, one of our videos, I had asked Allison if she wanted to come as well, uh, right. but she wasn't feeling well that day, so um, it didn't happen. And so it's the sort of thing where a lot of – I love having everybody on all the time. It's mostly just a question of who can come on, when are they available, and there's certain hard deadlines for putting up videos that I have to meet um, where I can't like indefinitely postpone looking at, especially big games, right? When, Grand, right. when, when the new Call of Duty comes out next week, it's not like I can't, I can't put that off for a week and a half just to get the perfect four people to come over to my house at the perfect right time to do it. Yeah. Like, i got to get a video up because it's time sensitive. Um, but yeah, I mean, Allison's welcome. I mean, you know, Jason is welcome. Like I said, it's not like there's any, there's not any animosity between us. It's just a lot of work to get this stuff done. Yeah, so. Jason's just got a busy set schedule, and he realized something is going to have to take a hit. And he was like, well, unfortunately, it has to be Rage Select. Yeah. And that doesn't mean he's gone forever or, you know, you won't see him every, you know, every once in a while in a more guest capacity uh, but hey, you're not going to see him like every week, away. unfortunately. Yeah. Is all messed up, huh? So yeah. does this mean I can barbecue the puppet of Jason? No, no, what? it does not. Wait, why is it Radio Los Santos? I thought we, were, I thought we were. So you're going to put it up for. I think on eBay. No, that's not happening either. <laughs> I think when oh. you, uh, I think when you get into your cars, mm -hmm. it's the radios off. But if you get oh. a, go on a mission okay. and it's someone another character's car, or if you steal a car, they're obviously listening to the radio. Okay. Uh, no, nothing will happen to Jason's puppet. It is <sighs> sitting over there, and it will be. Wait, I got two hundred twenty dollars. Crap. Oh, shit. Hold on. we got to take a detour here, sir. we are got to go over here to the clock and bell real fast. Uh, but no, uh, Jason's puppet's not going away, and yeah. Can we just give the Jason puppet a goatee, and then Grant now has a puppet? Uh, I don't understand why Jason puppet needs a goatee. Then it would be Grant. Then it would be Grant? Yeah. If you just <laughs> take the Jason puppet and put a goatee on it, it's Grant? I never yeah. knew. I, <laughs> it's so much easier. I guess that does make a weird bit of sense. Uh, all right. Let's get some more food in, in CJ here. They said, well, they love Aaron. and <laughs> What? Oh, well. Don't They're like, the okay, fragment. guess Jason's going to go do a thing. Uh, we like Aaron. We like Aaron. We yep. like Grant. Yep. Clock, clock, You're gonna sir. keep them, right? Yeah. Everybody else is kind of staying where they are. In fact, um, Jeff can't get rid of me. Oh. So. Of oh. And oh. then they're asking about Sparkle Fandango. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this. This is Sparkle Fandango. Everyone's wearing glitter. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hey, Jeff is head to toe glitter. That's right. Like even his kneecaps have glitter. I That's have right. glitter in my pants. Yep. And they said, "Oh, if we put." Boobs on the on the Jason puppet. It becomes Allison. It's an Allison puppet. <laughs> Allison doesn't have as much of a butt chin as as Jason does. I don't think that would work. I don't think it would read. Ugh. Plus, why would you not want to look at Allison's beautiful face on camera? She's the puppet. Boom. All right. Hey, slow down, fool. You don't even know which door it is. Damn it, I need to go to sleep so that he can get... I mean, I think I maxed out his fatness. 
So I ate really? until he I ate until he threw up. Hey, this is this is this is not maximum fatness, Kayla. I think that I have to like trigger a cutscene or go to sleep and then it'll okay. magically turn into the yeah. maximum fatness. What happened to for life, nigga? The only thing that matters is the hood. Nothing but glitter and whiskey. Is that what it is? Yeah. I've been yeah, I've been doing this all wrong. I've been doing Sunday just the entirely the wrong way. Do you feel better now? Big Bear, that's you? What? Are you still from the hood? Glitter and whiskey? Yeah. <laughs> I usually put the glitter in the whiskey, right? That's how you do the sparkle the sparkle shots. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Set the whiskey on fire, and then you dump the glitter in there, and then you... No, man. Bear, come on. Everyone likes to party sometimes, CJ. I'll see you around. So, mm -hmm. anyone ever been to an anime convention? Yes, I actually... Uh, <laughs> Uh, om or helped start one once. Yeah? Yeah. I, I ended up uh, having to bow out before the first convention actually occurred because I moved to Austin in 2005. But, uh, yeah, Onicon, which was originally in Houston. However, I think this year was in Galveston. Okay. Did you cosplay? No. Let's just cruise through the hood. If you could cosplay, what would you cosplay as? I, 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 I wouldn't. At least not at an anime convention. I mean, so, well... I thought about one time doing Wolfwood from uh, Trigun, but I don't really have the body type for it, or the giant cross gun, which would be awesome. Yep. I want to build that thing so badly. I've always, um, uh, I've always wanted. I think it would be great to have a solid snake costume, like a real detailed one. Yes. Uh, that I could just basically take with me. You know, if I ever had a need to be dressed up as something, I could just be like, yeah, I'll get dressed up like that. Uh, we're beating up the crack dealers in the neighborhood. It's just across the tracks there. That's what we're doing. Check it out. Hey, ain't that front yard turf? Man, are you a buster? Nah, I'm down, homie. Hey, grab hold of that bat over there. All right. One step closer to being able to rob the cluck bell. John, would you cosplay as a sexy nurse? No. Why not? Too much sexy. Too much. Too sexy. Yeah, it's too sexy. It's far people, too sexy. Other people can't handle the sexiness that I would bring to that. Yep. So, so I, I, I to spare other people, I opt not to. <laughs> they I, said I, you don't have to cosplay that. You are a sexy nurse. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, let's shoot through and introduce Yeah, mostly my co if I were to cosplay as anything, it would probably just be like a comic book character or a wrestler or something. Pretty much just anything I would dress up for on Halloween. So. Oh. Um, like I'm actually keeping the uh, the Bray Wyatt outfit separate just for special occasions. Uh huh. So, you know, at least until I shave the beard. Yeah. Because then once I shave the beard, that costume means nothing. I don't even know who that is. You yeah, keep dressing yeah. up like that, but I don't know who that person is. It's okay. Fuck them Grove Street fools. Grove Street going down. Oh, bat. Go beat up a crack dealer. Oh, oh. I just feel weird that their their gang color is violet. Yeah. <laughs> Same as the the Third Street Saints. No, 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 no. Theirs is uh, Saints purple. Okay, it's it's all purple though. Purple and violet are two different colors. They're uh, in the same. Violet is closer to pink. Yeah. Than purple is. Yeah. Is my point. So John. They're wondering that if you and Grant on a podcast, would that be sexy overload? Like, could Rage Select handle that? I don't know. Is that why you've been keeping me and Grant away uh, away from doing just a video yeah. or a podcast together? Yeah, I don't want to cross the streams. Okay. I don't want to... Uh, <laughs> gross. You know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I know... Sexy streams? Yeah. Gross, gross, this gross, gross, gross. Total protonic reversal. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what we'd be looking at. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. They gonna you knock on my front door? I don't know. I don't oh, knock. Dang. Yeah. I knock, but then I, I come in if, if, if I don't get a response within, like, five minutes. All right. So what is Rage Select skin colors? Uh, yellow? Orange. orange, yeah, orange and that orange and yellow. Is mostly what we do. Orange and yellow, orange and yellow. Yep. Angry colors. Angry, angry what colors. What Sailor Moon would you be? I've never seen Sailor Moon <laughs> once in my <laughs> entire life. I could not tell you the answer to that question for love or for money. Well, if it had to be one of the Sailor Scouts, 
I John could probably though. end up being Mercury because if I remember correctly, she was a little bit of a nerd and kind of a tech geek, in which that's kind of what I am out of compared to all the others. Wait, what? But I could be wrong on that because it's been like I haven't watched Sailor Moon since like I was in high school. Wait, why is my fat only at 45%? Because you use it too much. Damn it. But I ate until he threw up. Well, you threw up all the fat. Oh, okay. 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 Let's go back over there. I've got $110. So you gotta eat. Yeah. But and then not throw up. Stop eating. Okay. And then you got to go back and oh, eat some more. Uh, damn it. Is there no cars over here? If I ride the bike, I'm going to get well, muscle. A car there we go. There. All right. All right. I'm trying, y'all. Trying real hard. The fatness. Um, nope. Turn that off. Nope. 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 Okay, here we go. Yeah, I really, for some reason, I also cannot wait for. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, oh, by the way, you're my, you're the tux, tuxedo mask. The tuxedo mask. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's just a guy wearing a tuxedo and a mask. I'm not okay. Take that. I could probably Isn't he do a that. love interest? Yeah, he's uh, the main love interest of Sailor Moon. All right. What am I? I don't. See, I can't answer that question. What? Are you, you're asking the chat. Do you think I am well, in the hello, solar system? Yeah. Um. Okay, let's try. What are you? Chicken. Let's try four of these. <laughs> what? The let's chewy can... bits aren't harmful, sir. <laughs> Two. If you three. Back, they said I'm a Luna. Four. Okay. Okay. That okay. Works. I think. Let's see what we got here. You know, it's a lot of work to make this guy fat. A lot of people are saying that you're Sailor Jupiter. 58. And I'm Sailor Jupiter. Suckers. Can Which, I? Which, you know, probably works. Okay. I'm probably not a sailor. You'd be a sailor scout. Yeah, they'd let me, like, protect things and fall in love. Yeah, and you'd also get to color your hair any color you want. Is that what they do on that show? No, but they all have, like, really weird hair colors, like green yeah. and blue and... Uh, blonde and oh, brown oh. and yellow. Okay. Man, I can't wait for. They uh, said I was the sassy talking cat that gives orders. Take that. <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's a sassy talking cat. <laughs> Which one of these is hand? I like that again? John is our Sailor Moon. That's because like, I've I, again I I actually watched a large amount of that show back I in high school. I did too. I just don't remember high school. Well, that's like, the thing <laughs> is I don't remember high school, but I remember everything that I watched, read, or listened to back then. Oh my gosh! Like my brain keeps certain information and lets and releases the rest, and I can't forget this shit even if I wanted to. But do you have a favorite anime now? Um, right now. I'm not really watching anything at the moment. Um, Movies. I really liked, I mean, uh, the last anime movies that I really watched, uh, well, I watched the Bayonetta anime uh, anime movie. Yeah, that came out, like, came out the week, the same week that uh, Bayonetta 2 came out. I guess only the Blu-ray. I thought it'd been out for longer than that. Well, yeah, in Japan. It came out in Japan, like, last year, I think. Okay. Or earlier this year, anyways. Uh, but it was good. I liked it. Um... I'm also a big fan yeah, of uh, of movie wise uh, yeah, summer tacos. wars. Tacos, <laughs> tacos, none of this chicken. Tacos, Carl, tacos. Look like he gonna pass out. <laughs> Whoa, you guys are all right. <laughs> um, I saw a pretty. I saw um last night. I found uh, a place to watch a horror movie that was really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know it was the Baba Duke. Oh, uh, you saw that? Yeah. Do you recommend it? Oh yeah, it was really good. I mean, it's it's slow and it's definitely uh, very atmospheric. But if you get into it, and it's not ridiculously hard to get into, um, it's really good. It was really awesome. Good. Yeah. I definitely need to see that. Last night we had kind of a horror movie night. Yeah. 
We had three friends who had never seen the thing. What? And I've never been on a couch with someone who hasn't seen the thing. Like, the first time I saw it was with people who've seen it. And right. every time after I've seen it, it's with people who've already seen it. Right. So listening to people's reactions to it, like, on a cold watch in their 30s yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Were they, were they spooked out by it? They were spooked out, grossed out. Yep. Like... I knew what certain beats were. They're like, why are they shooting at that dog? Right. Like, it's like, these are things I know. But they were like, that's really terrible. Like, just very, and John's like, I can't talk to you. Yeah. My Rubio was like, I can't talk to you because I'm not going to give away anything because this is precious. Right, right. This is absolutely precious. Mm -hmm. And then we watched... Um, the Orphanage, Orphanage, which was great. It's a Spain Spanish yeah, horror yeah, yeah. movie. Oh, it was so good. I think that that's Guillermo del Toro, isn't it? He he produces it. Okay, I seem I seem to remember when I watched that that it was that was the one that came out after Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. And that the way that it was marketed made it seem like it was going to be a very different movie than it actually ended up being. Wait, which I, movie? The, the Orphanage. Orphanage. Oh, yeah. We had double feature last night. I love that movie. Shoot him. So Shoot him, guys. You just turned your stomach. Did you watch anything to get you in the mood for Halloween? Or to decompress from Halloween yesterday, John? Um, I watched In the Mouth of Madness uh, on Halloween because uh, it's my, one of my favorite John Carpenter movies. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really you know a horror movie so much as a psychological horror, I guess. Uh, I bought a movie, um, but I, 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 it sucks because I didn't actually get a chance to watch it, but some, uh, it was recommended to me a movie called Chemical Peel. I've um, never even heard of it. Yeah, it it's Lionsgate movie. It was direct to DVD. It, like, there's only a DVD copy of it, but it's essentially a, a, a bachelorette party. They go to, to a cabin in the woods. And mm -hmm. then a nearby on a nearby train has a an accident and a bunch of chemical toxins get released in the air and it basically kind of becomes like this. They're trapped in the house because it's surrounded by this poisonous uh, gas essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, this poisonous fog gas that's kind of surrounding the house and it's kind of them in the house kind of trying to figure out what they're going to do mm -hmm. and trying to seal up the house so that the gas can't get in and everything and then also them going a little bit stir crazy and things like that. Uh, okay. Me, I've heard good things. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Yeah, I also watched the first part of the Doctor Who season finale after I was done because I was like, I don't know why my brain is like, hey, you know what? It's almost time to go to bed. You should watch a horror movie real fast. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Go to bed. And then when I get to the horror movie, my brain's like, hey, why don't you just do anything else for 90 minutes so that you're not going to sleep directly with the imagery from the horror movie just straight up fresh in your head? Guns, but some of us think a little more exotic than this. Wait, Wait is it? Dear, small? Okay, <laughs> I was about to say, was that the, the talk radio station? That, that didn't sound like Big Smoke to me. Yeah, it was weird. Cause <laughs> I was like, was that a British guy? Yeah. Just some poor TV. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've also been looking at, I know that it's on VOD right now, VHS Viral. Okay. Um, so far, I haven't been like okay the saw movies i could care less not a fan I, of them. I i tried for like four of them right did never really got into <laughs> it um paranormal activity That's thought the first one was fairly clever since then i've just been like nope Thanks, don't really man. care I, um, I get that one but vhs one and vhs two i liked both those movies i haven't I seen them yeah i, I mean to, though it's funny because i watched vhs one and then Later on, um, Allison pointed out to me, she was like, the movie VHS does not like women at all. Right. And I was like, really? Because I, had, I hadn't noticed this. Uh, and she was like, yeah. And so we started running down each one of the little individual vignettes. And it's just like, oh, yeah, VHS doesn't really like women very much, does <laughs> it? Um, and then I don't really remember much of the second one, except I remember it was, or actually, I didn't know, I didn't like it as much as the first one but it was still pretty good it had a couple of some of the premises they have to stretch really far um for this whole like oh you you're looking at what somebody else how are you looking at what somebody else is seeing right 
is what's the setup for why you could do this. And there was one in the second one that was this guy that had um, like a fake uh, eye installed, I guess. Okay. And so what we were seeing was the footage from his his prosthetic eye. But I'm like, well, then why is there any audio? Did somebody go back and like painstakingly overdub all of the footage? Weird. Because if oh, there we go. We're starting to get there, you guys. We got a little tum tum. <laughs> yep. Um, I like that. That's our so, personal mission for this few us. hours. Oh, <laughs> so, Sweet is calling us to tell us that we're fat. All, but there's no need to let yourself go, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> so right on, but there's a gym I go to just up a couple blocks from the. Nope. Go check it out. Nope. Okay. I'm going to see what's up, man. Nope. The That's the last thing we want to do. I like his little booty now. It's so cute. Yep. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with little belly. Um, so, yeah. VHS. And then I was also... I was looking at... I was one of the, oh, I really want to... I heard about from Fantastic Fest. I really want to see... It follows. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really I haven't heard of that, that movie. Kick back, dude. Uh, it seems to me like a freaking, like an SCP uh, entry or something. All oh, right. Let's see, can we get full, full stomach tattoo? Grove Street, Grove Street, Grove Street. Okay. You're wearing art now, man. Is that? That is the tiniest tattoo I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. All right. That's great. We have a tiny belly tattoo that says Grove Street. And now we need to find a place where we can wear a belly shirt so that people can see our belly tattoo. Our tiny belly tattoo. <laughs> All right. Wait, what is the... What's the spray paint icon? Does that mean there's another... Oh, that's a paint spray. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys like the Mystery Science, science Ooh. Theater? Yes. Of course. I'm a huge of fan course. of Mystery Science of Theater. Of course. Given my profession. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? Talk over it. Talk over somebody else's, like, art or property. That's just disrespectful. Nobody should ever do that. I like how you're completely running over these people and they're still getting up. Well, they're ballas. You know, they've... I don't like the way that they haven't even aggroed to me yet. I'm trying to get the ammo out of their freaking guns and their well, money. But most of them. Burr! You got two of them. Burr! <laughs> you you figure they would them. move or something. Like, the fact that I'm just really casually running over them and then backing up and then running back over them again. And then, let's see. There you go. All right. Got some guns. Yeah, no, love, uh, love me some Mystery Science Theater 3000. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I've driven uh, uh -oh. a few uh, room former roommates nope. uh, insane with the DVD menus of uh, a couple of those movies. Because <laughs> you fall asleep and they loop? Yeah, uh, specifically the Manos Hands of Fate. Oh, because yeah. Because it does, the menu is just the din 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 yep. din din on loop. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> And so I'd fall asleep, and I would sleep through it, and they could hear it in the other room, <laughs> and it would literally drive them insane. Yeah. Because that's how I'd go to sleep, is I'd, w I'd watch Mystery Science Theater 3000, and then I'd go and then I'd immediately fall asleep after it was over. Right. And I think it's part of, partly a, a mental thing, because that's what I, because back when it was on Comedy Central, it was on like really super late at night. Yeah. Um, so I'd watch it, and then I'd go to sleep back in those days. So it's kind of a, a I don't know, a Pavlovian response to it. I'd watch it, and then after it's over, I, fall, I immediately fall asleep. Mm -hmm. um, got a couple movies like that. And so I just I have a shit ton of Mystery Science Theater 3000 DVDs, and I'll just randomly grab one and, and watch it before I go to bed. Uh, not so much anymore since, you know, since I got a girlfriend and, you know, sleeps in the same bed. Uh, so you know, what? kind of don't don't Scandalous. I don't uh, <laughs> leave a, a, a TV so, uh, on in the bedroom out of you know being nice. Respect. Yeah. You respect your girlfriend. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> so I always have a problem with the mystery signs. What is that? Like. I've even met them a couple times, like when they come through. We have a, a group called Master Pancake, and they'll yes. sometimes do live shows with our Master Pancake guys. Yeah. Which is very awkward for them because they pre-write all their, 
their scripts, and they are not good at ad-libbing. So it's always hilarious to watch how... Mm-hmm. Oh, the Mystery Man. Science guys aren't Love super good at ad-libbing? Right. <coughs> so that's always a little bit fun, like, putting that pressure on someone who's terrible at ad-libbing. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> the interesting thing is the the Master Pancake guys, they actually pre-write a lot of their jokes. Oh, all of it is what... Yeah. Uh-oh. They actually pre-write a lot of it before they do it live. Now, mind oh, you, no. they do leave them a little bit of room to ad-lib a little bit. Yeah. But, like, I also feel like they don't, I don't know, respect the movies oh. that they're making fun of. Mm-hmm. Where I feel Master Pancake gets kind of turned the corner where they go, here are the funny things in the movie. We right. still really like these movies. Right. Like, they can, well, uh, see, I don't know. It's weird because, like, well, Riff Tracks. I mean, they've right. done stuff yeah. like Wrath of Khan, you know, yeah. where... One of my favorites is Daredevil. Yeah. Hey, hey, you also hey, like the movie Daredevil? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't well, know about that asterisk. <laughs> I will also say that I would not have seen any of the Twilight movies if it wasn't for Rift yes. Tracks. <laughs> you are 100% right on really? that. Really? Yeah. I probably would have never watched The Room. Ha- ha- oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, had it not been for Rift Tracks. Yep. Oh but you, so, yeah, you keep your it's, guns in a dumpster? it's one of those things that it took me forever to even go to a Master Pancake mm-hmm. because Die, even though I just made fun of Daredevil being like, you like that movie? No, it's a terrible I, movie. It's, it's, it's garbage. Anybody who can make a movie, it's so much work yeah. that I feel heart things for them. And especially these really low budget movies like it hurts oh, my feelings family, that they're being so made fun of a little bit yeah i don't know i can kind of see that i mean you well, know the thing is that um, everybody has a mom it's well it's one of those things Shit, so one of my favorite world. or my favorite um pixar movie of all time okay is ratatouille okay, okay. uh and it's because of one thing and I, i've said this before so if you guys have heard this before bear with me but like um, Ratatouille, unlike a lot of the other Pixar movies, has something really important to say, and it's the speech that Anton Ego gives when he's trying to figure out how to review the rat food. And he talks about how even the yeah, worst thing, real, what does he say, bro. even the worst Jeez, thing now, that the worst artist could make is better than the criticism calling it the worst thing, right? That right. The act of creation has more inherent value than the act of pointing at something some and going like, ugh, that's fucking baby. terrible. And I that it's, one. I feel like oh, when that movie man. came out, out that Agent that was a really smoke. important thing. It was just like a really important sentiment um, that, di- that sometimes gets overlooked because, you know, it's a movie about a cute talking rat and a guy <laughs> who falls in love, right? But that one part is, to me, kind of the heart and soul of that movie. And it's a really, it's a, it's a message that I feel like is, it's very specific, but it has more to it than just the like, believe in your dreams, never give up, that kind of thing. Like right. It's much more specific in what it's saying, and I really appreciate what it's saying. Like I think that it's a, a good message. And kind of the same thing that you're saying. God damn it. And, this and, is and I really do think that... Twitchy. There we go. Well, uh, I, I definitely think there are cases where the Mystery Science Theater 3000 guys don't respect the movie that they're riffing on. I do think there are some genuine moments as well. with those that they do actually enjoy them. You know, they do actually, you know, they are... They're mocking it, but that doesn't mean they hate the movie. Like, it, they... Right. They've gone on record as saying there's quite a few movies that they've Is mocked that, that they really enjoy are we done on here? some level, you know. I always forget the, what's the one with the little turtle guy aliens? Oh, you're making me so turtle proud. guy aliens? Hmm. Talking about Gamera? One no. of the Gamera movies? No. Um, they blow up a Star Wars sign. Oh, I don't know. I don't know oh, which uh, one it is. But like, you may have just so stumped me. So that's the only thing where, Damn, you're a killer, baby. like, I'm glad oh, that it exists Real because movies like that would have never even yeah, floated to the top. You know. Right. And then I found hey, it, and then I could also I listen to it right, without the commentary once I found it. Yeah. You know, yeah. but it gave a platform for these super. I like, um, I really... Enjoy. What was the one that had the roll, roll fizzle beef came from? 
Um, <laughs> it was a Mike Nelson movie. one. Hey, it's like you la- tried, not man. Laser Blast, but yes, that's the movie I'm talking about. You know, Laser Blast is the one you're talking about. Is it the one I'm the, talking about? It's, well, it's the, the one, one she's talking about. Oh, okay, the, has the turtle cool. people because now it, it, man, it, he has a he finds a gun that he puts on his hand and starts turning him into like this weird zombie. Oh right, okay, no, the one I'm talking about was Space Mutiny. Space Mutiny with with Huge. Yeah, Big McLarge Huge. Yeah, that's the Roll Fizzle Beef one. I. I think that movie is great. I mean, well, see, it's one of those things where um, I mean, this is part of this is just kind of the way that people take things, and I feel like I've gotten a, a firsthand, like, kind of front row seat to see the way that people yeah. interact with things more than just myself. That you know, when Alien Colonial Marine, Aliens Colonial Marines came out, right, and yeah. everybody's just like, "Oh my God, it's the worst! This is the worst game that's ever been made in the history of mankind." And I've said it a bunch of times that like. I had a blast playing Aliens Colonial Marines because I played it with my friend and we just mocked it from top to bottom. It was a bad game, but just because something is not a super high quality product doesn't mean that you can't get enjoyment out of it. Yeah. Like John and I have talked at length about Deadly Premonition, and I can't really get into Deadly Premonition. Oh, I love that game. I think the whole reason that people can get into Deadly Premonition is because it's kind of one of those, it's so just damn weird and, and bizarre that it's good even though it's not good type of thing. I don't know. Yeah, I, I've, I've often said Deadly Premonition, one of the reasons it's People love it is because it's equally bad across the board. Yeah. Like, there's not... Because with most games, you find that one thing that's, like, super good over everything else. It's like, oh, man, this game has really great dialogue or really great characters, but the gameplay sucks. Or, oh, man, the gameplay is excellent, but the story is terrible. Yeah. Or something like that. But when you have a game that's equally bad across the board, Mm -hmm. there's not one thing you can pick out that's, that's worse than the other thing. Yeah. And somehow that makes everything come equally in, in. good. Oh. Oh, finally get to buy some new clothes. So, you know, well, That's he needs it because he's getting a couple little fat there. Burr. Probably needs, you know, some new. He's so down for the hood, he ignore me. Damn. I'm just going to take his shirt off so everybody can see his sweet, <laughs> sweet belly tats. Uh, nope. I don't really have that much money here. Uh, back. They say, can you make him a cowboy? Can I make him a cowboy? Yeah. Um, let's see here. Or jean shorts like you. Make them into the jacket. Green jeans, jeans, green track pants, boxers, heart boxers. Okay, these are all pants, 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 pants. I could just put them in heart boxers. The shorts, shorts, shorts. Those aren't even really boxers at this point, my friend. <laughs> Those are okay. There we go. We got the bottoms. A color. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and for tops, let's go back to torso, green shirt, checkered shirt, combat shirt, track top, black tank top, white underpants. Wait, what? Well, it's because you you have underwear under your pants. You still have to have pants over your underwear. Oh. What? Okay, let's get something different then. Um, let's see. Sharps t-shirt, green shirt, combat jacket. Let's just go with the green shirt. Can you take off your real <laughs> shirt here, Jeff? Oh my god, if you can take off the shirt underneath the green shirt, that'd be amazing, because then you could see the tattoo just a little bit through the, the part. No, it's just, I think they're talking about here in the in the fabulous Rage Select Studios, is that what they yeah. mean? They want me to take my shirt off? Folks, he doesn't have his shirt on. Why? Well, it, it, we're in his home. He's not even wearing pants. That's right. It's why I didn't want to be near him earlier when he was talking about his uh, pounding body. That's right. Damn it. These are all terrible. I just have to buy something and get out of here. Green hoodie. And I'll go back back to CJ's house and take it off. Woo! Yep. Look at the guy. Oh my goodness. It was a pleasure, sir. So everyone's naked, right? It, what in under their clothes? Yeah, obviously. I'm totally oh, not naked. I'm wearing a bodysuit. You're never nude. Yeah. <laughs> Do you come again, sir? All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. So far. Uh, I don't, just give me a segue. Why is the dressing room so does far? Does it make you slower? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it does. It does. Yeah. 
It makes you slower. It makes it so you can't dash as much in the game. Uh, I don't remember if it has anything else, if it has any other like super negative consequences. Uh, I'm going to go back over, spend some more money at the Cluckin' Bell, because we haven't maxed out our fat yet. We, we need to. Yeah. Do, 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 do. You know, it, people were really complaining about this, right? They were really yeah. complaining about this. But I think it's fine. I mean, there's a little bit of slowdown from here, from place to place, to place but it's not, like, super bad or anything. It's not like the game is broken. And it's $4. That's the other thing. Oh, wow. It's, like, less than $5 on the Xbox store. All processed chicken ass. <laughs> um, so I think, I don't know, I think this is... I think this is acceptable, personally, but... That guy looks like a puppy. <laughs> what? He has a little puppy nose, a little puppy <laughs> mouth, is he, and a little puppy clap. Is he chewing? Is he... He was chewing. You chaw? Might be lucky enough to find a feather. Enjoy a doodle-doo. Okay. Don't choke on the bone fragments. One more. Okay. Whew. Didn't throw up. All right. I'm going to eat some food today. Oh, uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> We're starting to starting to work. Starting Fat to work has increased. it. You are obese now, sir. Yeah, all right. Do some missions. Should do some missions for Big Smoke. Yeah, do some, <laughs> some missions here. <laughs> Just uh, uh be all right, folks. Uh, bam, tired. ballas. You guys suck. The car moving is just uh, too much. <laughs> Get a little tired from it. All right. So, will there ever be an Evil Within review? Um, yeah, I finished. I finished the game. I mean, I finished Evil Within. I finished Alien Isolation. I finished Bayonetta 2. I'm on my way to Sunset Overdrive. I think that Lords of the Fallen is going to have to wait until November. Um, the main thing is just. Up until now, I've done most of my reviews with Jason. Yeah. Uh, so I just need to find out who to do reviews with at this point. Um, I don't know. That's it, One of the questions that I kind of have is that I'm not sure whether when people are listening to our reviews on the site, um, whether they're into listening to our reviews more for the comedy aspects of it or more for the actual review aspects of it. Um, and that's kind of a question that I, I, I kind of wanted to get an answer to. Um, because, I mean, if it's just informative, I can do informative. I don't even need somebody else to do reviews. I can just write a script, just sit there in front of a microphone and repeat it. Um, and I know that the interaction is usually stronger. Um, so I don't, I don't know. They said that they're interested in grants. Yeah. And then also themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Grant number one, we number two, everybody else number three or lower. Why not Zeitbank? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> also, so right after the why not Zum Zoidberg, someone goes, you know, John's right there, man. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. I, I appreciate the timing on that. It's why not Zoidberg? Or John. Or John. Now John actually, will be the the popular actually, one. Actually, isn't that isn't that Zoidberg's first name? His first name is John. Is it? Yeah, it's Johnny Johnny Zoidberg. Because they have that one where they flash back to the first Planet Express crew. Oh yeah. And like everybody in the first Planet Express crew, crew loves Zoidberg, and he's engaged to like the hottest woman on the in the staff or whatever. Uh. Boom. And he had hair. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, what? Murphy's gone? Zoidberg will now be the popular one. That's right. So, yes. one of our persons yes. had a niece that was born on a stormy Halloween night. Do you think she's the, the bringer of the apocalypse? Because she was born on a stormy night? Stormy hey, Halloween. Hey, chill out, night. Um, I no, I mean I maybe keep a keep an ear open for you know like that. Like if you start hearing that shit from time to time, uh, maybe be concerned. But you know. Um, yes, probably not the devil. Probably. That's generally my answer. 
uh, whatever the question is. What's is is it the devil? Exactly. Probably not the devil. Nah, probably probably all. not the devil. The, the, the greatest trick the devil ever played was to make you think that it was probably not him. It was probably not the devil. If, it, if the devil was going to be anybody that I knew, it would be Grant. Come on, you guys. It would be Grant. Okay, yeah, no. I, I can agree with that one. Like, you know, if Jason turned out to be the devil, what? that's way too... That'd You're be... just running over people? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you do. I thought that was the point of Grand Theft Auto. I've actually been... Know. Steal a car, run over people. I've actually been fairly well, fairly restrained up until this point. I've been driving on the sidewalk or anything. You're like, train tracks? Why is that person stopping in the middle of the train tracks? These are terrible decisions, people. Yep. Well, the world of Grand Theft Auto has never been known for its oh, oh, uh, super, super great decisions. Actually, what this is the last this is the w last one before GTA 4, right? And then GTA 4, everybody felt like they had screwed up the uh, car physics because oh. they didn't handle because if you got a crappy car in Grand Theft Auto 4, it drove like a really crappy car. Yeah. Um. I didn't really mind that all that much, but then I did spend an awful lot of time getting good cars and banking them for when I needed them. Come on, let's leave Loke to deal with Casanova. Yeah, hey, let's go find Casanova. I mean, okay, Red cool. light district. Mm -hmm. Oh, stairs. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, My <CJ>. one weakness. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, my God. The guy Luke. was there like nine minutes earlier. Uh. Freddy, I'll come for you, you motherfucker. This is us. Hey, What's up? it? What we're trying to do? We're trying to like sneak in on them. <laughs> yeah. Let me sneak in on you. It's totally shocking. I'm here. Like, we were watching you out the window for the last 15 minutes. You dropped the soap, sugar. I don't know nothing about any rhymes. Hey, hey, motherfuckers, make it a run for it. Language? My goodness. Hey, Lope, get back here, nigga. You crazy. Hey, you'll back off me, CJ. My I goodness. I'm like, Kayla, have you not been listening to the dialogue? It's pretty no. much been exactly this the entire time. Like, is it like it's Nobody just... Nobody talks like that. This is supposed to be, what, 1994 Los yeah. Angeles, California? I don't think so. This is like Boys in the Hood. I left, I left California in 92. Did it know how to 93. party? I guess I didn't know how to party. No, did it know how to party? Come I've heard on. that. It was not like this. I've heard that Cal. It wasn't like driving around on a, on a motorcycle with some <laughs> some skinny guy on the back shooting at people. No. It wasn't eating a, eating like four meals at the uh, Cluck and Bell and then driving a motorcycle and sometimes throwing up and sometimes throwing up. Yeah. I don't understand what. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, motorcycles in this game. Difficult. Ah! Go! Go! It's nice of him to essentially slow way down when I get behind him. I thought you were keen, coupon. Oh! So, it's time for lightning. Is it? Would you like lightning? <laughs> Yeah. What? Of course, I lived in the ghetto. Yeah. But I didn't live in L.A. I lived in Palm Springs. No, like San Bruno and East Palo Alto, which was way uh -oh. rougher than real Palo Alto. Oh no! No! Oh! Oh! Ow. We're you we're, cuddled. Yeah, we're kind of screwed. Spooned. There's no way for us to get back all the way up there. Um. I mean, Catch and kill that fool, yo. Yeah. Yep. Oh, mission failed. Oh, right. I forgot. That oh, okay, your mission wait. failed? Oh, okay. But in, in San Andreas, right, when it first came out, that's a new addition, that, isn't that's it? That's a new addition. Because the, you had the... to start all the way over at the beginning. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If nothing else, that totally makes this worth it because, um, yeah, starting over from the very beginning, that's They said terrible. you cushioned the fall with your tum-tum. Yep. Oh, chase me, chase me! No, I don't. Damn it. Motorcycles in this game are twitchy as hell. They always have been, ever since the way. super bike. Why do you have to ride a motorcycle then? Uh, so that uh, Loke here can shoot him from with a machine gun. Damn it. Ah. 
So, uh huh. There's a good friend of mine mm. who I have feelings for. Yeah. They recently broke up with their boyfriend. Uh oh. And so, I'd like to ask her out, but how much time should I let her go? Go by before I pop the question. Oh, this is a lightning round question. This isn't very <laughs> lightning. I thought you were just telling me a story. Uh, I was like, Kayla, okay. Um, especially when you got to the how long should I wait before I ask them out. And I was like, wait a minute. What are we saying here? Um, I don't know. That's a, that's a very good question because, oh, damn it. Um, if... Um, yeah. It depends on your relationship. Yeah, like, I mean, John I, Rubio asked me maybe thirty I minutes you after keen, after you were after single. my boyfriend and I broke up. Yeah, because I was like, oh, I'm sad. Yeah, and he was like, You want to go out and watch a band mm. and then make out? Yeah, okay. Damn it. Um. Yeah, it kind of depends on how how broken up the person is and um, but I'm, it's their also disposition just as well. Who I they mean, are. Yeah. Because I'm all about, like, once you break up with me, you're d we're done. Okay, crap. I missed this. You up. don't play around with those words. Yeah. So. No second chances or... Um, but yeah, it, it I mean, it really depends on the person's disposition, yeah. right? Yeah. It really else. depends on whether that's the sort of person where how long her and the other person were together. Um, oh man. Okay. Yeah, he's up on the overpass, and I'm down here, so we're pretty much done. It's gonna have to re restart this all over again. Um, it depends on how the person's disposition and how they feel about you and how you feel about them. And I know that a lot of times there's no way to know that without talking to people, but. I don't know. I say I've had bad luck in the past with that particular um. scenario. Especially if you've been like their friend for a long time. Right. And then you're like, oh, wow, now they're finally, I've liked you for so long, and now you're finally single, and I'm going to ask you out. Yeah. So some people are having trouble with the stream, and some people aren't. So Freddy, we'll reboot I'm it when we go to break. Sound yeah. like for your deal? Yeah, how much time do we have left? Five minutes. Okay, yeah. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any quick tips on beard oh, trimming? I am the wrong person to ask that question. Yeah, John doesn't trim his beard. And my trimmer actually just um, just ran out of batteries, actually. Uh, so I am doing it by hand with scissors, and that's a real pain in the butt, and I would not recommend it. Will you rub sriracha sauce on your belly and howl like a werewolf? No. Nope. No. Not interested. What about you, John? Oh, what was that question again? Will you rub sriracha on your belly and howl like a werewolf? No. <laughs> Am I the only person who thinks this is a valid question? Man, <laughs> of course. I, I don't want to <laughs> rub, rub sriracha on my belly. I, I would, you know. I the howling like a werewolf thing, yeah, I'll do that whenever. I don't care. Yeah, you just got to get me a little drunk and I'll howl like a werewolf. But uh, I'm not really interested in rubbing much of anything on my belly. Okay, and then have you abused the PS4 share play function yet? Nope, I don't. Uh, that's not a question for me, really, uh, because I just go buy the things that we need to show on the show. So, um, and Jason isn't really playing that many video games. John doesn't have a PlayStation 4. This is correct. Uh, so, no. Catch me if you can. Um. But I do think that next week we might, there's a game that came out this week for the PS4. And I want to get a little bit more time to look at it. Oh, God. Um, but we may be playing it next week, depending on the way that it works, where it's a zombie game, but it's hooked up to your Twitch stream, so okay. people can type things in the chat, and it makes things happen in your game. Ooh. Um, they can, like, do, like, hashtag more zombies, and they'll put more zombies on the screen. They can do, like, boss fight or something, and it'll make it'll generate a boss fight. Over here. Uh, but I just didn't want to. This week, I didn't want to play that because... I had anticipated there might be more questions about the whole Jason oh, thing. So. Nope. 
Yep. We're, we're okay with it. Seems like everybody's. Everyone still loves us. Yep. Party on oh, Sunday Jeffrey. forever. There you go. Tell Jeff is gray. Uh, Jeff's already gray. Ish. So, what? do you guys venerate the immortal emperor? I have uh, no idea what those words were. I think we're talking Warhammer 40k at this point. Don't know. He's down on the bottom, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I know. This thing doesn't jump. Get me a place that I can go off an edge. Um, absolutely. The Emperor. He he's, went back up. Yep. He's uh, he's the man. You know I love the thrill of a change. Do you guys like Sunset Overdrive? I do. I like what I've played so far. It's a little repetitive. Um, hey, baby. Like, so but I feel that open world games are right now just going through a, a growing pain stage where some games like Watch Dogs don't understand that mm. they're that they need to not be as repetitive. That you can't just do the same thing over and over you're again and still be happy with it. Um, Sunset Overdrive has been good so far. Uh, it's, it's, it just, I like it. it it's not a uh, perfect game. Go over the. Um, but I like it. Do you guys have an emergency kit? Uh, like a bug out bag? Sure. Nope. Nope. I definitely have 90. You gotta, I have some at school. I have some downstairs. I have some upstairs. Wow. I have lots of emergency kits. So if you're uh, if there's an apocalypse and you're downstairs, you have it covered. Or if there's an apocalypse and you're upstairs, you have that covered or as well. Or if I just cut myself with scissors. Oh, okay. Is that what they're talking about? Is cut yeah, yourself with scissors? Probably a mixture. But I have like canned food and we have water in the house just in case something happens. But get his machine gun. Get his machine gun. Probably not last Don't longer than three thing, days, DJ. kind of thing. But yeah. <laughs> Was you lonely, low? Hey, I like Let's a see. Nice There's a question on here about free. depression. We've like talked about that on here before, but if you want on, some tips, it's not really a funny no, thing to talk about. Go you can always write me at KaylaCrow at gmail.com. Yeah. Anyway. I'm more than happy sure to let you know about that. And then, why no a writer? Hot or not? Hot, of course. I, 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 I grew up in the 90s. I think Winona Ryder is all kinds of cute as hell. I think she's adorable. Mm -hmm. John. She's attractive. Okay. There we go. So, what's the best pudding to use for Halloween costumes? Whoa, chocolate pudding? Depends what you want to see. Yeah, or what I, you're wanting to do with that pudding. Right. Yeah. Is it supposed to be simulating a thing? Well, chocolate oh. uh, pudding oh. is actually good to use for making blood. Oh. Yeah, it is. That's what most people don't realize is that a lot of blood effects in movies, specifically Robert Rodriguez movies, uh -huh. a lot of it is, is chocolate pudding mixed with some uh, some various food dyes. Holy crap. If this you is want your cake mix, Look. cupcakes to oh. taste oh. really oh. delicious, oh. put three <laughs> tablespoons of pudding mix in there. It will change how moist it is. I got hydros. This is great. Look at my car. Wee. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's the first time I've had Jeff, a car with hydros. Will yes. you wear booty shorts during the next dancing game? I don't own booty shorts. You guys have so seen. So can I give you some? Can I make you some? Can you make me booty shorts? We'll just, we'll just take your jorts and. No, those, no, but see, those are my jorts. Like, I, I, I wear those during the summertime when I walk my dog and, like, you know, do actual things. Ah, uh, get out! Get out, ah! Uh. Yeah, they'll still be good run, for that. Run, run! They'll just be slightly Man, sexier. We like your man leg hairs. Uh, yeah, I, I think I, 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 yeah. I have a pair of jorts where the crotch is blown out that I didn't nice. realize until I was wearing them, like, half the day. And then Music. I um... Uh-oh. So. I realized that my buttocks were kind of hanging out. There we go. Uh. It, would you design a tattoo for somebody? Um, I don't know. Could they email you? It kind of depends on what they want. It's a little, it's a little, that's a little odd. I don't even have any tattoos personally. Um, and I think it would be a little odd to have something that I drew permanently affixed to somebody's body. Sounds awesome. It would have to be my very, very best work. Um, but yeah, I mean, send yourself, uh, you know, I read everything that comes through the mail at Rage Select uh, email box. Uh, again, we're right in the middle of both 
this transition with Jason and all the games ever coming out in the next like two or three weeks. So can we have an online event for Smash Brothers? Oh goodness. Where you guys just whoop our asses for like three hours? That's what would happen. Or I, <laughs> that's what happened to me. We just cry. Yeah. Just cry. All I mean, time. like it wouldn't be the sort of thing where I would win. Thanks for the ride, CJ. Don't be a stranger, fool. Um. The show. I'll see you around. Maybe. I don't know. Later. I'm. I'm one of the. I mean, you know, it's one of those things where I have some. Um. Nope. Nope. Damn it. Stop. Stop. Can I cancel a mission? I don't want to go to the beach party. They said they're going to smear the pudding on their face and go as me. Oh, that's what they were asking for. They wanted yeah. to know what kind of uh, pudding. Like, I actually thought about it from an actual, like, realistic, like, you know, blood and, and costume yes. stuff. This place uh, is filthy. It turns but out it's, it's just Kayla pudding. Kayla pudding. So what kind of pudding would it be? Any pudding. Okay. All pudding. pudding. It was chocolate before, right? It was no, it was vanilla, so it was oh, extra again, awkward. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? Oh no, that, that was just <laughs> that wasn't chocolate pudding. That was just chocolate that you were smearing on yourself that when one time. When I was a Pikachu, a yeah. very yeah. unsexy Back Pikachu. <laughs> I'm very good at being unsexy. So if you had bad food poisoning mm -hmm. and had to eat basically nothing for a month, what would you eat after that? Hmm. Mm, steak or maybe sushi Ooh, or surf and turf surf and turf um yeah surf and turf and get food poisoning right away right after get it recovering from it yes <laughs> last time that i was majorly food poisoned is um was uh the red lobster shrimp shrimp festival oh no that so, stuff is delicious so they they yeah, put on the ads for like it's the red lobster shrimp festival and i'm like and i'm not going because i couldn't eat shrimp for three years after that um radio oh radio 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 what you john what would you eat what would i eat what i'm sorry say after again. not eating for a month you can eat for a month if i can't eat for a month yeah um i would probably go get some queso from someplace. Yum, queso. I would probably go get a uh, burrito. Beach party USA. Uh, from like Chipotle or something. Um, How am I? Oh, that's the water. Some barbecue. I'd definitely get some barbecue. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Um, but yeah, queso and barbecue seems to be the two big things. I would even love it if I could get like a, sa a barbecue sandwich with queso on it. Mm. That sounds like that'd be amazing to me. I need to make this happen. Let's do it right now. <laughs> Last well, time that you mixed barbecue and queso, the results were not spectacular. Said who? Uh, said John's nachos. Eh, <laughs> I don't consider that. That was that was a specific restaurant. Their queso wasn't really queso. It was more just cheese, melted cheese on it. And they didn't know what nachos meant because they were using fucking Tostitos, little, like, circle no. garbage chips. No. Yeah. yeah. And very, very small amounts of brisket at yeah. the barbecue what? place. It was yeah. terrible. It was terrible. It was terrible. It was terrible. Anyway, are we... We're, it's we're time. Break time. time. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to have Beach Party Dance USA party. and talk to the Dance DJ. Dance. So we'll be back in just a moment. See, is this what is this me with diabetes? Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, that's exactly you. Same yeah. beard. Yeah. And they, same they, green uh, checks. Looks exactly like me. It does. You afro yeah. and everything. Yeah, the green hoodie, right? That's I wear those all the time, the afro, yeah. You did start eating cheese again. I, oh well, that was that was a while back. Uh, <laughs> Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Sunday Streaming. We had a little excitement in the break. I I, I am a man down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, John, John, John stuck his hand through uh, some wood somehow. I'm not exactly uh, sure broke how. some hand railing. That's He's yeah. ghost dad. Fell down some stairs. Yep. yep. And my, my finger, pinky finger, ended up between two, uh, in the middle of some, uh, a spl uh, basically a splinter in a wood or something. And yep. I'm good. I'm good. Nothing's broken. No, no, uh. No pierced flesh or anything like that. My, well, my my uh, the railing on my stupid stairs has been like well, yeah, attached with Wonky. tape for a yes. while now, and now it's not connected to the wall at all. Um, okay, what are we doing here, hey, everybody? So How's it going? It gave everyone a little bit of a rush. It's a beach party. Yep. So I'm a little uh, little little laughy, a little giggly at the yeah. moment because of it. But what are you doing here? All good. 
I replied positively. Okay. Yeah, where's the fun, dude? All right. Don't just stand there, fatso. Bust a move. Uh, how do I? How do I dance? So while we were away, the chat was speculating <laughs> about Jason. Uh huh. And things like that. Okay. They're like, so, well, look at that moves. It's it, it is you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's you dancing in your jeans. Yep, it's me. My my jean dances. All right. Boom. You must have taken lessons. You must have been. Oh, this is and this is like way before rhythm games were even really a thing. Well, I guess this was like back when it was the. I mean, this is pre rock band, right? So Jason was the person who stole the Flame Olympus and gave it to man so they could make beer. And then the, he blamed it on some other guy. The Flame Olympus. Flame of Olympus. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry for the lack of enunciation. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. How long do I have to do this? What's my score at? Can you guys tell? Um, I don't know. Good. One. Well, your score three, is seven. one four five zero. I've got to go to twenty five hundred, and I haven't missed a missed a thing yet. I've been dancing so long. So the good. Sun is going down. <laughs> oh. Oh no! Oh, you oh, missed, missed one. It up. Missed two. A B X B A B X Y A X. It's so funny. Uh, whenever there's a thing like this, or whenever there's a quick time event in a game that Jason and I will be playing, uh, and I give him a uh, PlayStation controller, as opposed to an Xbox controller, you'd have to like look down at the controller to see which button was which. Y X B Y A uh, A A. -A. Like, stop, you're going to make him skinny again. No! <laughs> I don't know if this counts towards that. He's not exactly, like, you know, just dancing his ass off. You're doing better at dancing than you were at stairs. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is doing minimal, minimal effort to move, so, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, I'd really kick the shit out of that. So, Jeff, do you actually have diabetes? No, I'm I'm like actually incredibly afraid of of that because I have a couple friends, um, I have a couple friends who have diabetes, and uh, when I had one and he really just, he really ate poorly, it wasn't really a big deal. But then, whoa, what? Wait, what? No, they said go back to the music. By the way, oh yeah, get in. Wait, I thought we were taking the van back to your. Oh, okay. I'm stealing their van. Okay. All right. I, I'm sorry. I didn't know what was going on here. All right. Excuse me. I'm leaving. Because it gets all that super sweet DJ equipment. That's right. I thought that we were like, because I danced and she was all into him. And I was like, all right. So now I'm You just, thought you were wooing. Yeah. I thought she got in the van and then I got in the van. I thought we were going to like go back to her place. But apparently I was just stealing her shit. Um, Uh-oh. Hello. Police officers, I'm not doing anything bad. Um, yeah. So I am. I am afraid of diabetes, and I try to not eat in a ridiculous fashion and get exercise. And I try as much as possible to stay away from snacky processed foods and stuff that has a lot of sugar in it, just for that particular reason. Uh, which, in this particular day and age. It means either spending a shitload of money, learning to cook, or just eating less. And I've chosen option three, an incredibly restrictive diet where I just don't eat as much as I used to. Um, so, yeah, there's that. What's that chat saying? They're saying, hey, would you ever use a rifle to hunt a deer? Um... It's an interesting segue. Uh, <laughs> I am not really much like kind of into the idea of hunting animals. I oh. mean, I'm not like morally opposed to it. It's just not really super interesting to me as a thing. I like fishing. People kept, you know, people say fishing is awesome. 
And then I spent, you know, over the course of my life, like five or six years trying to figure out what was interesting about fishing. And the answer was nothing. Um, okay. And I went fishing a bunch of time and didn't catch any fish. So I was like, all right, this is stupid. And everybody has lied to me. I don't actually believe don't that you can. Nasty, lady. Whoa. I don't believe that you actually can. What? You just toss out the lady? Yep. Is it in four where if you get in on the front side and there's a passenger in the car, you can drive and they'll just start like screaming and screaming? And I yes. guess in Saints Row, you can then do a yeah, hostage, hostage yeah, mission. Yeah, in the Saints oh Row. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Where you can take them hostage, and if you drive really Oops. fast and evade the cops, they'll eventually like give you money or whatever for it. Yeah. Oh, Saints Row. So Let's go to some BS. Yeah. Some good old bullshit. Watch out for them police officers. Hello, police officers. I'm just driving on the sidewalk. Don't mind me. Yeah, no big deal. Oh, cute little house. It's Big Smoke's house. He has a nice house. <coughs> Uh-oh. Officer Tenpenny. Asshole. Yo, Carl. See you around. <laughs> Is this, this is the only time that Samuel L. Jackson ever, has ever done like the full voice for uh, for a character in a game, like all the way from start to finish? I think he's done other. He's done it so like, since then? Well, he did Afro Samurai, the game for it. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. All right. Um, it just seems like, seems to me, I've always thought of Samuel L. Jackson as the Vincent Price of our generation and the fact that okay. he'll do any role. Yeah. As long right. as you pay him, it doesn't yeah. matter. He will just do it. So, I think that he would be the sort of person I wouldn't, uh, you know, it would be a surprise to me if he showed up in a whole bunch of different games. Uh, let's see. So, did you look for cheat codes for this game? I did not. I guess before we finish, uh, John, you got my internet over there. We can look up some, some cheat codes. I just wanted to get in the carpool lane. And, uh, yeah, spawn a tank and a rocket launcher and yeah. mess everything up. From Mexico. I know yeah. that, I mean, this Me game was really, uh, it was kind of uh, oh, well regarded a lot of times because the, this is the first time in the GTA series Everybody that there were multiple gun. cities. So you right. start out here, but this is uh, their Los Angeles equivalent. But before the game is over, uh, let's see if I can actually. That's a beautiful moon. Let's see. No. If I go here. You got the, music on just. Oh, yep. To the map. Let's see if I can uh, if I can zoom. Can I zoom out? That car in good taste music, so good job. But here's the city, but then you've got all the countryside over here, and you've got these little light dirt towns in between. <coughs> but this is you've got Los Angeles, and then you've got an analog for San Francisco, and then you've got an analog for uh, Las Vegas. Okay. And so over the course of the game, you go to all three of them, and you go you know through the different cities and you do a bunch of missions for different people in different cities um, and it was huge like in comparison to the previous Grand Theft Autos you know the great GTA 3 was in Liberty City and GTA 4 was in Vice City which is their Miami uh, New York and Miami yeah. and this one had like three full cities in it which was crazy Sticky, but fresh off the and a lot of stuff to do like, is this the one with the jetpack is this the one where they had a, a jetpack that you could drive around Remember that. So, will you move to Seattle again? Probably not. But what if there's people there? <laughs> Are there people in Seattle now? <laughs> there so. weren't last time. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's just this like Mad Max apocalyptic wasteland. Um, I mean, I don't know. It would. Uh, the, the main issue with moving to another town, of course, is that. <laughs> If I moved to another town, it would mean that this entire show would have to be rebuilt from the ground up. <laughs> because it's not like I'm going to move to Seattle and then all y'all are going to come with me to Seattle. It's like, Kayla, come on. Uh, come to Seattle so that we can do Sunday streaming once a week. Move your life, your entire life. Convince your boyfriend to move with you. And let's go all the way across the country so that you can come over here for three hours every week. <laughs> also, yes, there are cheap codes. Yes. Oh, I know they're cheat codes. I just don't know what they are. There's a bunch of button inputs, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have a bunch of them. Okay. If cool. there's specifically something you want, let me know, and I will tell you how to do it. Oh, no, I've got to run. I've got to run and chase somebody. That means I'm going to get skinnier. 
Oh no! Uh. Why did you go <laughs> over the fence when you could have walked one foot? Uh. I could get my gun out so I could see this guy at a distance. Uh. This is weird. The uh, the fact that it's the right trigger to aim and the left trigger to fire. It's okay. really bizarre. So when you were shooting up in the air earlier, yeah, it reminded me of the holidays in Laredo. Uh huh. Where John won't let me go outside when we're in Laredo on the holidays because apparently people like to shoot guns into the air. Right. One time his aunt was outside mm -hmm. and a bullet came down and shot her in the shul shoulder because yeah. of gravity. Yep, I've heard that, that, uh, that shooting him up in the air is great, but that you have a certain number of injuries and or fatalities because those bullets do have to come back down at some yeah. point. So yeah, crazy. that's why uh, the, the specifically during like 4th of July people or in New Year's, people are like, don't, don't, cops are out and are like, don't shoot your guns up in the air, please, and they do actually like arrest you if they see you doing that. Uh, at least here in, in Texas. <laughs> I don't know. Does Austin have a lot of shooting the guns up in the air on holidays? Apparently at least, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would assume so. Oh, get over the Maybe. Oh, Blah. oh no. Get a vehicle. I can't run. I'm so fat. I can't run. Give me the car. I'm going to take your car. There's three people in that car. Oh, and they're ballers, too. That, that's kind of terrible. <laughs> Those are like the... Oh, God, it's also one of the uh, hydro cars. Oh, oh no. yeah. Uh, let's see. Cage uh, Master Sounds. And radio off. Okay, there we go. Whew. Now, if I could just... Because when you, when you have a car with hydros... You can't control your camera. That's all right. I'm going to... Off the road. Off the road. Shoot him. I don't know how to do the drive-by thing yet. So when oh, I is. was a teenager, uh -huh. I grew up kind of strangely. Like, my body. Like, when they my, like face was paralyzed on half of my face Wh like what? These were, this is how my body had growing pains oh, okay. i always Come had right. get out. Get out there. like pain in my legs uh-huh and i also would black out randomly what and so <laughs> what was there a factory recall <laughs> on kayla <laughs> hey there might be reasons i'm not promoting like making my genetic material for the next generation yeah like oh man all the way back here um so i would do these things and one time i was driving mm -hmm. and my sister was in the passenger seat and i started to go right into the median at one of those columns uh-huh just like in this game like you were just doing. I was having a little bit of flashbacks there okay. for a second. My sister was like freaking out. Mm -hmm. And she was like, what? But then she didn't want to tell my mom. She was like, don't tell mom because then you can't give me rights. <laughs> just please, I don't want to die. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I'd be like, one time I was walking downstairs, blackout mm -hmm. was fell down the stairs. What? Yeah. I, I don't think I've... I mean, I've driver. never... I've never managed to fully black out. Um, yeah, I, I've never done, like, the drinking thing. I, can't, I never drink enough to get that... I can't remember what I did. I can so. always remember. I mean, like I've said before, I remember every stupid thing that I did. Um... I've never actually lost enough time, or never actually lost time, so to speak. All right, I gotta get a car way faster this time because the total recall, Kayla. Yeah, Kayla recall. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> get him! What? Uh. And then they start asking all these questions about me. So, John, I'm gonna ask you questions about Kayla. <laughs> is you gotta there have that microphone a <laughs> okay sorry <laughs> that's all right sorry i'm playing with this ice bag that's now leaking onto my leg um is there chroma formula 401 a uh, what shit fool you just got jacked chroma 101 chroma 101 For, uh, race oh, uh, select rule 34 uh, I, I refuse to acknowledge Rule 34 for Rage Select, so uh, it, it probably exists, but I don't acknowledge it. Yeah. 
Does Kayla have a red ring of death? No. I, I haven't seen it. Is Kayla Disney princess? Not really. She's a princess. Is Kayla the Green Goblin? I don't believe no. so. Do, are, are, are you an old man that owns a corporation that are wants to kill Will Spider Man? Are you Willem Dafoe? Kayla? Is that. Okay, you gotta tell me. It's like I you're being a, a cop, long right? Ding dong. Uh, wait. Am oh. I a mutant? Shoot him! Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot his car up, shoot his car up. Oh, crap. Excuse me, policeman. Uh, Sorry, didn't mean to bother you, policeman. Person. Oh, I didn't know about rule 34, and now the chat's telling me. Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I refuse to acknowledge it. That's uh, if there, if it exists, there is porno of it on the internet. That's, That's rule crazy. 34. Yep. Am I an android? Does that mean like I was just short-circuiting? Maybe. Yes, that could mean that. Are you are you a short circuit? Are you are you Johnny Five? Johnny Five's alive, yeah. bro. Uh no! I don't have any more ammo! My car! Oh my car! Is Get out of the Kayla car! super gassy? Run. Of course I am. Oh, uh, give me the police. Just not at no. the show. Oh god! Oh Johnson, damn it. Did we, we got die? wasted. Yeah. Oh, no. And the checkpoint for this mission is the beginning of the freaking mission. Jesus. I don't have enough gun for this what is the meaning of life so to keep your cellular material going until you have time to reproduce is that it yeah. I thought it had something to do with bacon right <laughs> probably I need more inputs <laughs> they said my mutant power is whimsicalness is what? What? whimsicalness oh uh, whimsicalness okay Whimsicality. What, what is the mutant power of John and Jeff? I am very interested, chat. Uh, so we're not allowed to answer. Only the chat is allowed. Yes, only the oh. chat's allowed to answer. I'm just making sure. Okay, I'm going to go get some bullets before we do this mission again. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look at that beautiful moon. I just can't get over it. It's just, the only it's thing that would make that moon better is if it had a face in it, like in Majora's Mask, and was slowly creeping closer towards the Earth. So awesome. There was this. Uh, there was this game a long time ago. Terminator um, Skynet. Skynet, the multiplayer game. It's a uh, multiplayer game that was way better than Quake. That was before, <laughs> or right around the same time that Quake came out. That nobody really knows about. Uh, also, Terminator Future Shock was the first game to have the WASD keyboard configuration, which we all use now. Um, but okay, so is it just? Is there not? Is there not a store here? So just so you know, Jeff, yeah. your power is not closing. Not closing. Okay. Um, anyway. Technically, all the doors are open right now. Good. <laughs> uh, or organizing and scheduling. Casa. Oh. Well, you know, hey. I. Where the hell is the ammunition? Is there not an ammunition right now? Is it just? But they said it's pretty nice because Rage Select will never close. <laughs> We're up for 24 hours. <laughs> um, I was telling that story, and I don't remember where I was in it. I don't even remember what I was saying. About running through the alleys nope. at night? Nope, that wasn't even remotely <laughs> what I was talking about, Kayla. That wasn't even remotely what I was talking about. Oh, Terminator uh, Future Shock <laughs> had this thing where the moon was up in the sky, and in multiplayer, if you shot the moon, it would, over the, the text channel where the people could chat with each other, yeah. it would just go, ow. And if you kept shooting, it would go, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> and if you shot it enough, it would just go, Oof, and fall out of the sky and make a crashing, uh, crashing glass noise. That's genius. Yep. I like that. Okay. Here we go. I will be right back. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, uh, in there. Yep. Just a little bit moist in the Rage Select Studios. Yep. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> of ice packs. Yep. You, you Poor John. <laughs> 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 you can't see this, but John has pants. He's, he's peed himself. Insult to injury. Sorry, John. Insult. No, I look like I peed my pants. That's all. <laughs> There's, you can put it in one of the towels in there if you want. I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgot. No, it's forgot fine. My that. hand's fine now. It feels fine now. Okay. It does? Okay, mutant healing apparently shit. is is your power. It wasn't hurt that bad. Yeah. I'm Just it was sore because it was, you know, pressure between two planks of wood. How did that even happen? <laughs> I still that, don't even know how, how it happened. Happen? You guys, okay, so imagine a imagine like a solid piece of wood, right? 
like a a like a circle, right? Like a, a handrail, right? The handrail in my place. <laughs> the circle piece of wood. It goes. It's long. It goes way down. I know how all this sounds as I'm saying it. Uh, trust me, I can hear myself. <laughs> um, so I go downstairs ahead of John, and then I hear this big crashing noise. And John's finger is now between, like the like the, the wood split in the middle, right? Like, but the, it didn't split like completely all the way, like just like in a small area, right? And John's finger is now trapped between the two pieces of the of the tube of wood. And I'm like, still, my brain. There's a part of my brain that's not you know, for a while now be able to be like, the fuck did you even do that? Here's the thing. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, first, like, huh, my finger hurts. It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck in the wood. How do I get? Wait, how is it stuck in the wood? How did this okay, even well, happen? Maybe if I apply pressure to kind of maybe open the wood a little bit. Nope, nope. That's only making it tighter. Okay, okay. What, what do I need to do? Oh, hey, can someone give me a screwdriver? Yep. And so I can use it as lever to leverage or fulcrum or whatever the heck the term is for that. Exactly. That's exactly the terms. Oh, turn off radio. Uh... It too, Big Smokey. It too. So. Oh, Big Smoke. All right. See. Oh, God. Oh, what the hell, car? And now my pants look like I peed in them. Yep. Yep. But it's just to match the intensity of this game. I would probably pee myself all the time playing. Like, if this was my real life. Yeah. If I was actually but, but, CJ. But Kayla. Kayla. You beat Saints Row 4. Yeah. Like this is no less crazy than Saints than the Saints Row series. Saint uh, Row? Is that like dangerous? I don't remember anyone shooting me. Oh wait, that that's not. Good. Yeah, they shot you all the time. <laughs> yeah, you had mutant superpowers, and the alien dude was trying to take over the place. And <laughs> there was all kinds of shooting. There was tons of shooting. <laughs> I just heard the dance gun. Uh-huh, the and dubstep gun. Yeah, that was so much fun. Super OP. Yeah, you get out of that car. Yeah, well, I, I can't right this second. I need to run them off the road before I get out of this car. Just letting you guys know that Metal Virgin says John's superpower is that his fingers are magic. Oh! What? I don't know how to respond He's blushing. Yeah, yeah, blushing. Blushing. Yeah, All the way bit. blushing. Yep. It's amazing. Yep. I am a little bit. <laughs> okay, you guys got... Oh, come on! I need a car, I need a car, I need a car. Your car is my car now. I'll take this one. Okay, fine. The truck. No, 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 not that one. Not that one. Not that one, CJ. It's already on fire. Get this one. Now punch her in the face. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> now hurry before that truck blows up. Uh, and change the turn off the radio. Oh, uh, no, there's a cop there. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm so far behind. I'm so far behind. How have I not failed? Oh, he's just been driving in a circle around the block. That was nice of him. And then we're going head to head. And now John's reading all the posts about his hands. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm blushing more. Ball is <laughs> oh. Secrets out. Yeah, get off the road. Get off the road. Nope. 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 God damn it. Why is this so difficult? So that was actually, if you remember correctly, that was actually one of the big complaints about this game is that the driving and shooting at the same time was yep. not easy. And that's why everyone really liked, uh, was it the first Saints Row when it came out? Because they somehow made driving and shooting better. Yep. There we go. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Woo. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I need, I need to go to the cluck and bell. That, that was... <laughs> I need to go to the cluck and bell. You only got $78. You're doing something wrong. You can well, <laughs> um, at you this can't take that guy's money? Oh, you can. But you have to beat him to death for it. Oh, yeah. Let's not beat people to death today. Wait, what? We're playing Grand Theft Auto. Of course we're going to beat people to I death. I don't know how to play these games nicely. I there is no way to play these games you, nicely. Yeah, you don't. I guess like the difference between this and Saint Rose Four is that I knew they were computer programs. Yeah. And they just like they're not dying; they're just. Com As opposed to like the the really the super detailed people here that are. <laughs> that, that, in that the video look so game. lifelike. <laughs> on, the, on my TV. <laughs> no TV man, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this. See and. and Grand Theft Auto, you just get out of your car and then you just start hitting people with the face with a baseball bat. 
I don't think you can. Uh, there's a police officer. <laughs> and there's somebody shooting at me. <laughs> no. Okay, get out the gun. Uh, no. Bad camera. Oh, no. You dropped your snack? Oh. oh! At least you completed that mission. Yeah. Wasted. I got, and I also got a few dollars. Yes, yes, we know. Do you guys have a favorite radio station? In GTA? Yeah. Hmm. Um, whatever one Laszlo was on. Yep. I was always a big fan. I'm actually a fan of Laszlo. Oh, they took all my money. What? But they didn't take all my guns. All Rude. Right. Yep. They can take your money, but they can never take your guns, you Jeff. That's right. Um, and while they're over there distracted with whatever's going on, steal this car. Yep. Whoa, nope, nope. Please grow up to me, cowboys. Don't even sing it. I don't want content ID strikes. <laughs> <laughs> we keep getting these emails from our partner on YouTube that are really dire, that are just like, hey, make sure that you aren't putting any videos on YouTube, apparently, because here's the way that they will take all your money and... If you if this thing happens to you on YouTube, they just delete your channel when it happens. What? And there's no way to get it back. And it's just like, I don't want those things to happen. It sounds like a terrible. Do they thing. not look at your views and help you? Nope. That's rude. Nope. All right. Uh, wait. I can hold up the clucking bell. Get some money. Okay. Where's the entrance? Probably on the other side. Damn it. So, you have to be right there. there it is. That's a big ass clucking bell. Yep. I do not know any fast food place that has that big of a restaurant. Oh, I do. Chachi's in Chongo's in San Antonio is like two stories, and they have a thing called the King Kong Nachos, mm -hmm. which are huge. They're meant to be shared by eight people. Mm -hmm. I've seen someone eat that whole thing by themselves, by the way, and not me yet. Give me money. Give me money. It me, is a huge place. Give me the, give me the money. Give me, maybe that's also something that didn't get added until give later. Me, give me the money. So, Jeff, if we don't... Favor, since we can't go in pa back in time uh -huh. and play the podcast after, uh -huh. I don't know how time works. Wait, what? What do you mean you can't go back in time and play the... <laughs> it's going to be there. So, <laughs> since the, the podcast has already been put up... Uh huh. I think she's asking. But they can still go listen to it today, right? Yeah. Yeah. When we get done <laughs> here, there's a couple things that I'm going to... Well, first off, I do have our stream from last week that I'm going to be putting up, the SCP one. Um, and uh, I think that I'm just going to... I think I'm going to make that one. I'm going to put that one up when we get done here. And then I think I'm also just going to put the podcast back up because it's important. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I want people to try to listen to it. So... Um, that's what will happen after we're done here. And then next okay. week, I'll probably be, like, as I was trying to explain before, we'll probably be going with the Last of Us playthrough that Grant and I did for our sequential Saturday until I can kind of get a few things straightened out. Um, I really need to get through next week. Yeah. Because next week will be the first week of Jason not being here and trying to get stuff all scheduled. Because last week we had all the asylum stuff. Hey, right. Hey, hey, hey. Did anything interesting happen on that podcast? Hey, yo, Ask Grant Davis from RageSelect.com. Grant, no. <laughs> nothing uh, interesting happened, Grant. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> oh, Grant. We explained, I don't know, I mean, if there's new people who don't know what's going on, then we could explain it again. But Yeah. I think there are a few people who didn't, because when we came back and you, you mentioned the thing with the transition with Jason, a lot of people are like, oh, what transition with Jason? What are you talking about? Okay, so for folks who haven't listened to the podcast yet uh, that we put up yesterday, Jason is essentially um, kind of, he's not like I need the hat. Dis disavowing Rage Select, but he's taking a step back. So he's probably not going to be on the dojo every week. He's going to be in as kind of a special guest when... He has time to, to come by. Um, he's probably not going to be on the podcast every week. He's going to basically be kind of more in a special guest style position than he's going to be as a direct contributor. And that just comes from the fact that he doesn't have time at this point with all the other stuff that's going on to do this. And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a grind every week doing this. And we've been doing it for, well, him and I have been doing it for forever, two and a half, three years without interruption, without a single week where we haven't at least had some kind of contact at this point. So... 
Um, so he's going to be essentially kind of taking a step back. In the meantime, uh, we're going to be keeping everything going, or we're going to be trying to keep as much as we possibly can going uh, between the different shows. We may have to skip a few academies and or Sequential Saturday may be made up of um, one of our Patreon uh, playthroughs for mm -hmm. a few weeks. Um, but I'm hoping that with a little bit of creative scheduling that we can keep everything kind of the way that it, it has been. Um, and so, yeah, there'll be more to follow. There'll be more developments as they happen. And the that's pretty much the, the short of it. Um, you know, Jason's not moving. Jason's not sick. Jason's not pissed off with me. Right. It's just that the schedule here is pretty intense. Yeah. And after doing it for three years, um, he needs to kind of take a step back. You know, so. he just has to go down from five jobs to four jobs. Right, right. You know? <laughs> Crazy guy. Yep. <laughs> so that's and, it. And they're saying uh, now that Jason's out of the way, the the glass ceilings that have prevented this from being grant select mm -hmm. are, are now down. There's an interesting amount of conspiracy theory <laughs> about Grant, the puppet master, who's been engineering <laughs> all of this from behind the scenes uh, <laughs> yesterday in the comments to the podcast. But Does yeah. anyone have Ebola? No one no has one Ebola. Has Ebola. Is anyone dying? Nobody no. is dying. I mean, you know, in the Sylvia Plath, we're all dying, yes, but uh, no. And no. there's lots of hate? Yeah. Is there hate? What? Wait, what does that mean? Like... Oh, do Jason... Like, we're, we're, we hate each other? We had, like, a big falling out or something? Yeah. No. Not at all. Not is even a little Is there bit. a way we can make a clone or a bot of Jason? Uh, if you know... Uh, mail at rageselect.com is the email address, but uh, generally speaking, probably. So what I used to like to do back in the time of WAV files, yeah, WAV files, right? Wave see? wave files. <laughs> What's a WAV file? <laughs> file? A WAV well, it's file. It's just like you know GIF and GIF. Right. People just call them different. I've never so, heard anybody call it a WAV file. I was trying to be kind here, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, wait, we're up in, like, poly weird. So we would, I would just, like, have those ready uh -huh. and then just make conversations out of the bits and pieces. So okay. maybe they can make one of those. Oh, like a soundboard? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And we could just pretend that Jason's here based off of old conversations he's had. <laughs> Uh, all right, Rage uh, right, yeah. Selectors, you, you've heard it here first. You need to make a Jason <laughs> soundboard. Yeah. Someone needs to, to take the effort to make a Rage, a, a Rage Select Jason soundboard and make a and put it on the Internet for yep. people to use. That way they can get their weekly fix of Jason while he's away from the site. Someone while said, back the in the time of wave files, do you mean now? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, now it's all the, MP3s and OG files and flax and. So when I was going to be Alf, yeah, Rubio was making fun of me mm -hmm. endlessly mm -hmm. that I do a terrible Alf impersonation. Okay. Because it is terrible. Okay. And so he was like, "Well, what you need to do is go listen to more Alf clips." Mm -hmm. So I was like, Don't push me. "Alf wave files." Oh, come on. Yeah. And all the sites are like geo sites. It's right. amazing. The old geo cities yeah. garbage. It was beautiful, and <clears throat> and then you'd hear it and ha! Ah, I kill me. Right. And hey, Willie. Yeah. I'm still terrible at off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, they say good luck. This is. Are we playing PT? No, this we're gonna go stab a bunch of people. We're in a hallway. I'm waiting for this guard dark. to go by, and then I'm going to go stab him in the back. Is that that goo monster from Minecraft, that red? Or is that a yeah, urinal? Yeah, yeah, what is yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what I'm doing to him. Like, he grabs his neck like I'm strangling him, but I'm obviously not strangling him. So there's that. Okay. This guy had, like, four guys guarding his rhyme book. Uh oh! If you walk straight past the guard here, try crouching and walking past the bar to remain out of his line of sight. <laughs> so funny. Okay. Can you do the elevator move? <laughs> what is what is that? Like when you're outside of a window and so you pretend like you're pushing the elevator down and you 
shrink. I have no idea what <laughs> you are talking so about. It's like a, where you're walking and you like you stop and you like you press and you mime. And oh, you oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Nope. 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 They think Grant is actually an SCP. SCP Grant. Yeah. Yeah. I could believe it. This guy's on the couch. <clears throat> so. Wow, he didn't hear any of the gunfire, huh? Who will play? He's got his own gunfire going with his game Call console. Call of Duty multiplayer now that Jason's out of the way. Um, you know, I was actually thinking about that because next week Call of Duty comes out, and I think that Grant and I are going to play Call of Duty. Uh, and I was thinking that it might be the greatest thing that has ever been put on Rage Light if I find the most hardcore Ooh, body armor Call of Duty ser multiplayer server and then let Grant loose on yes. them. Yes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it would be adorable. Whoop. Hi. 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 And they said, stop playing the storyline. They're bored with this. Make chaos. How many of them said that? One. Like one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they said, Grant, yes, please. Uh-huh. Yeah, playing COD. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, wait, he plays wait. a fish game, too. Oh, 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 camera. Yep. Oh, uh, there goes all my body armor. Well, at least. Oh, cool! Fun. Silence gun. So, did you nope, guys ever nope. watch the Black Dynamite animated series? I did I, not. I did not. I wanted to, but never got a chance to. I never even watched the DVD. Oh, so, come on! Oh, the the original movie. Yeah. Ugh. So they sent like a screener to for Fantastic Fest, mm -hmm. and like. Oh those no. Those draft house guys are kind of intense, nope. right? Mm -hmm. And so they live in tents. They live in tents. <laughs> <laughs> tent dwellers. Sorry, I zoned okay. out for a second. Okay, is there any way to to exit but a mission to? They start doing it, but they really love like that urban cinema kind of mm -hmm. from the seventies. And okay. so the fact that Black Dynamite was making fun of it, mm -hmm. I've never seen Tim Lake so upset. Don't forget the music. Like, we got within, like, ten minutes of that movie. Yeah. And then he literally broke the DVD and threw it out the window. When was this? What? When, like, a thousand years ago when I was still hanging out with Draft House people. But what, was it, what were they playing it at? His house has a screener for Fantastic Fest. Oh. Dude, that's, that's very silly. Yeah. So that's I've never seen it. That's how much very, I've seen of it. That's a very silly thing to do because, yes, it is making fun of black exploitation. Absolutely, it is. But it's doing it in a very smart way too. I thought it was a really enjoyable movie for what it was. Yeah. And that <laughs> getting pissed off because somebody's making fun of something that you really like is um, a very fruitless endeavor. <laughs> um, because. Yeah, I, I don't know. That seems like incredibly silly to me, especially considering the you know stuff that I've seen that plays at the draft house. Yeah, it seems really silly that that he would be That's so. Something. I don't I don't I mean I don't know the guy. I've never even met Tim Lee before, but I've heard stories. I can never tell. Mm -hmm. I can never tell what's going to either be loved or repulsed. Right. It's always like a random like generator. <laughs> Here's the thing I like randomly. Yeah. I've been on that road before. Cool. Hey, so um do you guys have fart fetishes? No. I no. <laughs> I naturally fart a lot. No. That, that's that's about it. Nope. I don't know what a fart fetish is. It's you like it? Were you no. sexually aroused by flatulence? No, I yeah. just Oh, have by the a way, yeah. Flatulence. I think Tim League is a totally nice guy. Yeah. I wasn't defaming his oh, defamery. Yeah. I was just saying that's the story of why I didn't see Black Dynamite. Yeah, I mean, I've never, I've never, I've never met him. I've never met I've the guy. heard good things and I've heard bad things just like I would with anybody else. Yeah. So it's kind of one of those things that, I don't know. Yeah. But no. Okay. Like, I'm cool Should with Tim Lee. Don't think that that was a negative story. That was just the story of why I never saw that movie. Right. Well, you should because that movie is awesome. Really? Yeah. Okay, maybe it'll be a date night. So, Jeff. Yes. We joke about your mantis fetish. <laughs> of course. But what is your real fetish? Um, don't know that I. Mm, let's see here. I don't know. Don't know. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> 
That's all you guys get. Yeah. Don't know. Uh, yeah. Jeff's, yeah. Doesn't, Jeff's just happy to close. So, you know, <laughs> not like, hey, you know what would be really cool is if you wore this, I don't, I, you know, or whatever. But, um, and once you're done, say, oh, my, what a lovely tea party. <laughs> okay. I don't know why the, the animation for that is so messed up. They say you're being coy. I'm not being mm-hmm. coy. I'm not. So, what kind of candy bar, chocolate bar do you like? Uh, the oh. Big Cat. I'm a big fan of the Big Cat. Yeah. Big cats are good. One giant Kit Kat. Yeah, those are pretty good. Uh, I, You know what? Candy's candy. You know, the other day I was at the... In my mouth now! The other day, I mean, I don't eat a lot of candy, but the other day I was at... What was it? I was at like Walgreens or something like that <laughs> buying some dog food and I was checking out and it was like oh yeah payday I haven't had one of those in a long time it's like yeah give me give me the Nutty payday salty delicious yep um, I'm a big fan of Reese's peanut butter cups and Hershey's uh, chocolate bars you know the, that, those are and Snickers those yes. are like my three big outside of Kit Kat I love all of those but I like Twix because they crunch. crunch Twix are good Cookie Crunch. Butterfinger's good. Whatchamacallit's used to be my favorite. Oh, yeah. I like a Whatchamacallit. Where's that stupid guard? I can't. This m- radar is so... So, you oh, know right how there. there's, like, a, a lag? Mm-hmm. They're, like, so... You're into koi fish? Because it's, like, you're you're koi. Right. You're being koi. And they're, like, oh, koi fish. Damn it. Get Sorry. Him. Chop him with your chopper. Get on him, CJ! I'm not starting this mission over. I think I'm... So Cut him! <sighs> would you take the gun? I'm trying. What dream job other than Rage Select would be so amazing that would entice you away from Rage Select? Mm. Um, I think any job where I got to got to sit in a giant office and tell people what to do. Uh, yeah, that would be a good like job. a big old desk. Yeah, like a giant office desk um, with. Uh, like I'd like to be like a um, producer. I'm mean, a big cigar chomping movie producer. That's what I want to be. Yeah. I want to be J. Jonah Jameson. Mm-hmm. That's the. That is what would take me away from Rage Select. Can you, oh, can look you at this guy. He's got a cat. Yeah, he likes cats. Yeah. He's got cats. Got cats and gold records. But he likes cats, but he's also got cat skins on his yeah. floor. Well, he likes the aesthetic. Mm-hmm. I need some health. Badly. Is there people down there? Where do you find health? Uh, On the floor? You usually eat at the Cluck and Belt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Haven't we eaten enough at the Cluck and Belt to, like, make us health forever? No, we've eaten enough at the <laughs> Cluck and Belt to make us fat forever. <laughs> That's That was the goal. Okay, I'm just trying to get out of here. I will, I, you know, and, uh, thinking about it, I will go cause some mayhem as soon as I can get out of this stupid mission because apparently there's no way to... Okay. That's a creepy room right there. Is this where All the... Right. The Eyes Wide Shut Club. Ooh, arcade machines. Yeah, wait, wait, we got some dudes in here somewhere. There's a lot of red dots, and this camera is not being helpful. Okay, maybe through here. <laughs> so what? Sorry, chat sometimes makes me laugh. They're just. So I think funny. you have to go upstairs. Yeah, no? I think I've got to as well. I'm really trying very hard not to die. So what do you guys think about Under the Skin? What? Oh, I hate that movie. I've never seen it. I don't even know what it is. It's the Scarlett Johansson drives a bus movie. She, she drives, drives a, a bus? She drives a panel van around and uh, lures men to their uh, inky, inky doom. <laughs> inky, dinky doom. Adorable. John, so I get loopy mm-hmm. when I'm very tired, especially after like 9 p.m. Yeah. As Jeff has realized from playing with me on a Tuesday night. Yep. I was like, it's like a, so she's like a pumpkin. Like it's it. like I start slurring, all my words go into one another. Mm-hmm. It's just a craziness. It is. And then I also got hurt in the middle of that, hence why I got very quiet because <laughs> I was just like, oh, my show. <laughs> yep. Is this? Nope. Well, apparently it's actually downstairs. Cause the Son area. of a bitch. I was wrong. Son of a bitch. Next time, don't listen to me. No, I got some body armor up here. It's fine. Um, but John always says if he ever has a brewery, he would let me 
name all the beers, mm-hmm. but it has to be after 9 p.m. <laughs> 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 no, that that Under the Skin movie, I, I've talked about it before, about how I don't think I've ever been as bored with a movie where one of the primary plot elements is that Scarlett Johansson takes her clothes off all the time. <laughs> and she's just like, that's her whole job, is she's seducing dudes and taking off her clothes. And it was just like, wow, this is boring. I mean, because I understand it's got a plot. It's based on a Scottish novel. I went looked it all up, watched the whole thing all the way to the end. The movie is like five hours long, and it should be about 90 minutes long, if that. Like, if you're into... Scarlett Johansson's driving a truck, and she's driving a truck, and she's driving a truck, and she's been driving a truck for like 10 minutes now, and we get it, she's driving around looking for dudes. Like, you can cut that shit short, movie. So I think you have to go back out the way you came in. Damn it. Okay. Well, I got some body armor. There's a good chance that I might be able to not die. So... Jeff. Yes. Everyone wants to know if Jason's shares of Rage Select would be transferred to Grant. Grant Davis says everyone really <laughs> wants to know. <laughs> oh, that Gra- Grant Davis, right. Uh, <laughs> shares of Rage Select. Oh, uh, shoot him in the. And also, where's that Black Widow movie you were pra- promising us? Which, wait, what? What? Did we promise Now that, that you're a big time producer. Oh, right. I don't know. I'd, I'd make it. I like Black Widow. Would it be about her driving a bus? Yeah, it's going to be like 12 <laughs> hours of her driving a bus around with uh, Captain America, but she's not going to say anything because she also has like... I mean, in that Under the Skit movie, I swear to God, Scarlett Johansson has like 25 lines of dialogue through the entire two and a half hour, however long it was movie. Like, a lot of it's just... Whoa, what was that? So the new conspiracy is that you're crazy. Oh, that I'm crazy? Yeah. Okay. Because you wouldn't go on the Scar Joe Bing bus. She was she, not the way she was acting, man. We've talked. I talked about this with some people before. It's like she was acting like a crazy ass serial killer. So I like to listen to podcasts sometimes when I'm driving or books. Mm-hmm. And there's this one I like called "How Did This Get Made?" Mm-hmm. And they were talking about monkey shines. Yeah. Which the have movie you Monkey Shines? Yes. Have you ever seen that movie? Sure. The guy's disabled. He's got the monkey that yeah. falls in love with him. He's got yeah. the love monkey on his back. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that movie before. That movie's crazy. I love that movie. Great. And for some reason, this made me think of Monkey Shine. What? <laughs> Scarlett Johansson <laughs> driving a bus? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Roll. Roll, dude. Okay, put the thing. But, okay. Whew. Whew. Um... Scarlett Johansson driving around a bus seducing men makes you think of monkey shines. (laughs) Monkey shines. (laughs) Movie about the disabled guy and his helper monkey. Yeah. Okay. Kayla Cromer, (laughs) ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Kayla Cromer. That's why I have you on the show. (laughs) I don't even have to think about stuff. I'm just like, what's on? What's inside of Kayla's brain today? (laughs) He saw me. That's crazy. Would you have a helper monkey now that you've seen Monkey Shines? Sure. Absolutely. Why not? How about you, John? Sure. I think having a helper monkey would be kind of nice. As long as I could teach it to ride my dog around. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> a little cowboy hat on. That would be so cute. <laughs> as long as they were best friends. As long as I came downstairs and my dog was curled up on the couch with a little monkey like sleeping on top of him or whatever. They said they would love to see Monkey Shines... Remake with Scarlett Johansson as the monkey. Okay. Yeah, I can get behind that as well. But ride the bike. Ride the bike. Okay. What even is this thing that I'm on? So how do you feel about, I don't know, Marvel and movies and things? Yeah. Do you ever talk about that ever? Sometimes. What's the What's the question, though? Is the... I mean, no movies, movies dude. Marvel. I think they're just asking about the, the, the gigantic film <laughs> announcement they did this past Tuesday. Uh, well, so far, I mean, on Marvel movies, I am mixed. Um, I like Captain America. I like the Avengers. I like uh, Iron Man. I'm not really a big fan of, uh, fan of either the Thor movies. I don't really like them very much. Okay. Um, woo! Uh... So, yeah, that's kind of where I stand, is I like some of the movies, but some I don't really care for. 
And I think that if they want to keep making movies, that's great. I thought Guardians. Uh, really, really liked Guardians. Really want to see it again. Super fun. Yep. I mean, I prefer the Marvel movies to... Ow. Sorry. <laughs> so you get for drive and look at the map. I prefer the Marvel movies to the DC movies. Yeah. Um, I like the, the Marvel uh, hero stuff more than I liked um, Superman or Batman. They want you to get angry about the Thor movie. Okay. I don't get angry about the Thor movie. Oh, Why? I'm tired of all these hammers. Yeah. Why are there so many golden locks? Yeah. Oh. Well, the first Thor movie, <laughs> I've said this before, the first Thor movie was the movie Cars. You realize that, <laughs> right? No. Cars no. and Thor 1 were the exact same plot. Dude's a hot shot, <laughs> but he's kind of a dickweed, and they take all his powers away, and he's got to learn how to be humble so that he can like do the thing I've at the end of the day. i never heard that ever. Yeah. That's it's, genius. It's such a, it's such a, a cliche plot. The, like, I'm cocky, and so now you have to learn humility. Well, that's that's actually the story of Thor from the comics, though. That's the whole reason that he put him in the body. So or basically is a remake did the whole thing with Donald Thor? Blake in the original comics. Yes. Still, okay, uh, all I'm going to say about the original Thor is that, like, from about 20 minutes into Thor, I could have told you everything else that was going to happen true, in true. goddamn Thor because it wasn't exactly a new story. It was a very, very old story yeah. that I've seen a hundred times before. So that was my I, I, problem I, with Thor. That's how I feel no, about I Superman. Born. I'm tired oh, of him being born in Kansas. Hey, Stop later. that. <laughs> where, where would you prefer he to be born? I'm just done like just don't tell me where he was a baby i don't care he and actually spider-man i don't care about the spider he wasn't he wasn't actually born though in kansas I know, he but crash he was, landed that's in when he kansas. got adopted so that's when his true life began and then the second thor movie just didn't really something about it was didn't, that because it was planes that's because it was planes <laughs> it was because it was that was a remake of cars too so <laughs> No, I just I couldn't okay. really. He said Thor Five Asgard boy. Drift. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, well, they do have a rainbow bridge. No, yeah. Sir. I just been but I I don't know. The Thor pissed, just hadn't hadn't grabbed me. Both Captain America is yeah. great. Thor. Eh. You know. nice hear, also, I'm not like a lady, and I'm not in love with Loki, so maybe that has something to do with it. But um, I've liked a lot of the other things. You smell like shit, sir. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you say that to me? You tell me that I smell like shit? You hey, hey! Beat him! Beat him. Like stop the, on him! I, just I, steal I his like money! All the Take Marvel him. movies. Beat up his friends! Yeah! I just don't like that they're all interconnected. Yeah? I wish they were standalones. Like, that you didn't have to know another movie to know a movie. Well, I think, Fight. like, on, for the man. better ones, Fight. you don't Fight. have to. Like, I think... Like what Jeff is saying, like Captain America, the first Captain America, um, and then also Guardians of the Galaxy, and probably the first, you know, obviously the first Iron Man. You don't really, I don't even think the first Thor, you don't really have to know the other movies. Yeah. Mm. There are little nods to them, um, but you don't have to know of them. Right. Um, obviously, the more you get into the sequels, the more interconnected they are, uh, especially after Avengers. Um, but I think it's going to be the same, you know, for any of the first movie of of a character, I think you're going to get where you don't have to know, you don't have to have watched the previous movies. Yeah. I'd like to think, I'd like to hope. I've heard meal. that with Doctor, the rumor for Doctor Strange is that they're not going to do an origin story, like he's just going to start the movie and he's already Doctor Strange. Good, um, wonderful. And I'm hoping that that's very, like, you don't need to have watched any of the other Marvel movies to get it. Uh. Mm -hmm. Grant said I said something that's absurd. Okay. Grant, what, what did, did she say, say that, that was absurd? <laughs> was it about Spider-Man? <laughs> nobody cares about Spider-Man. Nobody cares about the spider. Oh, oh no, they like the interconnected aspects. What? Um, They're okay. What? What? So. I don't have that many guns. I need some cheat codes now. How much, how much time do we have left, by the way? We have 15 minutes, so I'm starting lightning round. I'm going to finish these three from the forums. No, I'm just going to. I'm just going to. I'm going to see if I can't get SWAT after me. Don't put anything else in the forums, guys. Only in the chat. I'm going to finish this. And Grant also likes orange origin stories. Yeah. Yeah. He's a crazy Cromer. All right, guys. So, I'm this dude <laughs> who hasn't dated a girl. Uh huh. 
But I'm good at making them laugh and smile. Yep. But I don't know how about getting them interested in me. Um, just ask. Yeah. Literally, I, I know it seems like a, a really weird thing to say, but if there's a girl you like and she's laughing and at she's you. laughing and laughing with at you. a joke, with you. not with so you. much at you, but with you or at a joke that you said, right? Just be like, hey, do you want to go out? Do you want to go out? Sometime. You want to go out? Let, let, you know, maybe go out. Let be like, hey, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to this place. Would you like to go with me? Yep. That's really the best thing you can do. This is all very true. I'm trying um, to get as fat as possible and kill as many cops. Because I'm going to be honest. I kind of was like that for a long time, uh, where it was just like, oh, I can't just ask a girl out. That's stupid. Turns out that's all you really need to do is just ask her out. Yep. That, 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 there, there is no other answer to that than just, hey, um, would And don't you like get to go your out? feelings hurt when she, she says no. Hard. Just yeah. go, okay. Yep. She's like, all right, that's cool. So what's your most embarrassing moment as a teenager? Mm. We're done this one. We did that for the pets. Oh, God. Um, no, get out, gun. Get out. CJ, get out your gun. Oh, my God, they're everywhere. Ah! Oh, and I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You shot that cop in the balls, wow. too, uh, right before you died. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of my second most embarrassing. Can you give me a code? Can you get, how hard are the okay, codes to enter? So I naturally don't enunciate very well. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm much better when I'm teaching, but when I'm doing a video game show, it's all out the window, guys. I'm comfy on a couch. Mm -hmm. So our teacher was like, okay, what genre of writing would you guys like to do next? Mm -hmm. I was like, whore. And he's like, what? Yeah. And I'm like, I would like to write about whore. And he thought I was saying W H O R E that I went to write horror stories. Oh, horror, horror horror stories. <laughs> yes, it's a common thing. <laughs> That's a common thing. And oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed forever after that. It was okay. terrible. That's fine. I don't care. Can't unlock achievements. So if you guys could completely master a skill or subject instantly, what would it be? Um, science, music, robotics. Okay. All right. I think this is good. This is a good mixture. Science, robotics, and music. So he's got the science to make. You got the robotics to make the robot. He's got the science to make it somehow work scientifically. And then I've got the badass music that plays when the robot starts killing people. Yeah. Have any of you guys seen Birdman? I have not yet. Uh, Me either. I hear great things, though. Me too. Yeah, I have not. What was it? Uh, right bumper, right trigger, left bumper, left trigger? Nope. That one now you work. got a flaming uh, Molotov. A. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, I think that I think I'm just... If I've done this correctly, I should now be invincible. So let's get the show on the road and see Ooh. what invincibility is like. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Turkey, Turkey. man. Black olives. About? Black olives? You can have those any time. <laughs> That's not Thanksgiving. <laughs> it is to me. Where's my... Okay. No, so why am I still taking bullet damage? Damn it. When I was saying, like... Don't get your feelings hurt when a person rejects you. Uh -huh. The chat was like, yeah. When she throws her drink in your face and suggests you... Suggesting for going on a date with her, don't get your feelings hurt. When she pulls your skin off your face and leaves on the concrete, Here's go the to thing. the next day. I've have never heard of a girl actually throwing her drink in your face unless you actually say something fucking offensive. Thanks. Like, hey, baby, I got a cock. Why don't you jump on it? <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a, a drink thrown in your face if you say that to a woman. But if you be like, hey, I like you. You seem to like me. Why don't, you go, why don't we go out sometime? Th okay. That's not going to get a drink Thanks. thrown in your face. <laughs> no. Right but also, but I just mean, like, brush it off. Like, don't get discouraged and yeah. afraid to ask other people yeah. out. Damn so, Jeff, right. while you're doing this complicated... Yeah. Cheat code. Okay. Apparently, infinite. Uh, no bullet damage doesn't work. Okay. Arrow a right, left, right, right trigger, right, down, up, Y. 
No, nope, it doesn't say cheat activated. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, yes. Um, what's the angriest professor dog has ever made you? Made me? Um. Uh. Okay. Done. Okay. Yeah. I just need to start blowing shit up. Um. Back when we first, when I first got him, um, we had some serious problems with walking. Um, and I guess there was one time where, uh, so Professor Dog has this thing that he does where when, um, when people, when he wants something or when we see like another dog and we're out walking or whatever, he doesn't bark, he doesn't do anything like that, he just whines. He whines like I beat him all the time. He whines as if to say, please God, get me away from this horrible person uh, who is my master. And it makes me very embarrassed. And it <laughs> makes me upset because I'm like, just bark, dog. Just like, if you want something, like bark, I can deal with that. But the whining really isn't a problem. But when I first got him, he was very uh, ill-behaved. His, his owner before me didn't really train him very much at all. Uh, so he was kind of ill-behaved. And I... Ooh, nice. uh, uh, it took a long time. When I first got him, I didn't know if I was going to be able to keep him because I had never experienced um, anger, the likes of which as a dog who you can't reason with or right. say, hey, dog, you should. I'm trying to do this for your best interest. You should totally listen to what I'm saying to you. They're just dogs. They just do. Oh, I think I see what's going on. Am I not? Does he ever steal your food? Oh no, we're 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 way past that. Uh, one of the You're first. You're about to die. No, oh, I no <laughs> bullet damage. So only cars and rockets and stuff will. Oh, me. okay. That's what it was before. Was that I wasn't actually blowing up. Oh, you might want to get away. Right, I was blowing up because the explosion was hitting me, not because oh, I was getting shot. Oh, okay. Marsden, take him out. Marsden. Oh, how did you know. get wasted? I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> they said your dog wasn't a professor when you got it. Yeah, he was. He was. He was not. I mean, like he was much less well behaved. That thing that anybody who comes to my house knows that he does when he's trying to be very good, right? Right. What he'll do is he'll he'll come over and he'll sit very prettily next to you, like as if to say, "Look how good I'm being." Like. I take me outside or give me treats or do something. And that behavior is behavior that I, like, I fostered with him because I wanted him to act well. So before we ever did anything, uh, back kind of when I first got him, I would make him sit like that. And so now whenever he wants anything, he does that to try to get it. Oh, come back here. So the other weapon pack. Today. Mm hmm I was in the backyard, and John saw me out, and I'm kind of wearing a short skirt today, and I was, like, bent over, and he was like, oh, yeah, that's it. Look at my lady. Uh -huh. She looks great. And then he walked a little bit more and saw what I was doing, which was just frantically cleaning this mother dog's bottom that she's been just having terrible... Just pooping on herself because she's a mom and doesn't know what she's doing anymore. Right. And he was like, <laughs> This is most unsexy. <laughs> this is the worst opposite. <laughs> okay. I and he goes, that. that's what life is like. You think you're going to get this nice view. Nice sexy time. Yeah. And then it turns out, oh, damn it. Oh, you real tough bitches, huh? Uh-oh. I think busted means they take all of your guns. I think that is correct. <laughs> no! Oh, no! I want to enter the cheat code again! When you have wanted level? Yep. Oh. When you start murdering people, then the cops will come after you. That means that you are wanted by the cops. Yep. There is an APB out on you to arrest on sight or kill. Go, go, go. And everyone's like, the textures are weird in this game. <laughs> you know, ten years. Ten years old? <laughs> I mean, this is what I love playing old games like this because it reminds me that when this game came out, this was the best looking game I had ever seen. Yes. In some cases. And the, one of the biggest, most expansive games that I had seen. Oh, yeah, they totally took all that stuff away. Um, so it's always good to uh, remember that things change because um, 
yeah, at one time, this game was the absolute cream of the crop. Oh, no, I'm losing my fat. Because so you're running. You're getting exercise. Damn it. We, we did try che- cheats, but they didn't work. Well, I have some cheats turned on. It's just okay. that they aren't, I mean, you know, I gave myself infinite ammo, and I should be immune to bullets. <laughs> Whoa. I need to get a car and do more drive-bys. You! Out of the car! So, has Professor Dog met Obama to collect his award? Which, which award? Probably Best Dog Award. Best Dog Award. I don't know if the president has a Best Dog Award. Does Obama, is, is he's... Is it, he's got they got dogs, right? Yeah. Not cats. Two. Okay. One hypoallergenic. One's named Bo. Um. Yeah, I never liked Bill Clinton's cat. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't like that many cats. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, this is really difficult. It's a policeman over there. Question: uh-huh. Keanu right or Keanu? Keanu. It's Keanu. Ooh, I need a bus. Give me that bus. Who let you out of the middle hall? Wait, whoa, where are you going, bus? Bus! Come so on, bus! John, yes. Are you confident about a live action Ghost in the Shell film? I'm pretty much not confident about any movies that are adaptations of animes, of Japanese animations. What, that it's going to happen or that it'll be any good? Both. Uh, okay. I mean, how, how many years? It's been literally my entire life they've been talking about making an Akira movie. Yeah, and my also en- Ghost in the Shell. Entire and- life, yeah. I mean, I don't really, like, the last, I'm trying to think of what the last, like, American-made, like, adaptation of a Japanese animation was that I can think of. And the last thing I think of is, like, Fist of the North Star, which had the kid that played Rufio in in Hook in Downtown Julie Brown from MTV. What? Downtown Julie Brown was in a movie? Yeah. (laughs) All right. It was a live-action Fist of the North Star. It was uh, pretty awesome. Okay. Um, I have it on DVD if you ever want to borrow it. No, not really. Um, I didn't think so. And then also not to mention G-Savior, which was the uh, live-action uh, Gundam movie. Well, there was a live-action Gundam movie? Yeah, and it was like made, like it looks like a Sci-Fi Channel original movie. Ugh. It's American and everything. It's hilarious. Get some! Urgh. If you guys had to go on a live game show, which one would you want to be on? What? What does that mean? It's like, like a game show, like Wheel of Fortune oh. or Jeopardy. Or oh. Um, hmm. Price I is Right. I, I yeah, do that's like mine. I want to be Price is Right. Really? Price yeah. is Right. Or is Deal or No Deal. Yeah, Deal or No Deal because you get to wear stupid costumes. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, who has a toothbrush in their purse? Right. And you're like, it's me. I have it. You're the one. Who, ha- who here has a wrench? Me. <laughs> I'm dressed like a wrench. Oh, Does wait. that count? Hold on. Wait. Why am I dying now? Damn it. Why am I dying? This flamethrower was working out What's beautifully. What's the weirdest thing you think you've had in your pocket? Um. Oh, was it the fire? I think it was the fire. You have the fire in your pocket? The Is fire that what's going was on? in my pocket. That was the weirdest thing. Uh, No, Um, the weirdest thing I've ever had in my pocket? I don't know. That's a very strange question. <laughs> it's not a thing... Uh, consider if somebody was to ask you that question <laughs> while you were doing something, like at your job, and you'd have to be like, uh, I don't know. Gee, I'm just taking your call. Wee! Um, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what the weirdest thing that's been in my pocket has been. I mean, money? No, that's not very weird. Uh, yeah, I try not to keep shit in my pockets. Empty pockets. Empty pockets. Empty souls. So did any of you guys live in the hood? Um, Austin doesn't have that much of a hood, or didn't when I was a kid. I kind of lived in a slightly rough neighborhood in the early 80s, but it wasn't like, yeah, we were still allowed to go out and play on the street, right? I, growing up in Houston, I lived in a, a suburban neighborhood. No, no. Um, now, I will admit that when I moved out on my own, ah. I did move to probably... Uh, one of the worst, more more terrible neighborhoods uh, in Houston mm. uh, as my first apartment uh, because it was super cheap yep. uh, for a reason, uh, which was awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad of a neighborhood, but, I mean, it was, you know, it was, it was just 
considered a bad neighborhood. And I, I tell people I live there, and they're just like, you, how, how are you not dead? Yeah. And I'd be like, I, it's not a terrible neighborhood. I don't know. What, what do you want from me? Kind of thing. Ooh. I've lived, like, everywhere, every style. Mm-hmm. I moved 17 times in my life. Wow. So, not military either. So, guess what? Six o'clock. Is it six o'clock? Yeah. And All you right. ran that guy over. We awesome. We are done then. I was trying to find a plane because uh, this is the airport. Um, but, yes, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, next week I'm going to try, I think we're going to try that other game that came out that has the Twitch integration, which means that the chat will be even more ruined than usual because yeah. of people typing in hashtag more zombies or whatever. But uh, Let's do I'm it. I'm kind of excited for this. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I am going to put the podcast back up. Uh, tomorrow we're going to resume our normal video programming uh, with a video for Lords of the Fallen. Um, but because this podcast has the important information about uh, Jason and what's going on with him, I am going to be putting it back up to give people more of a chance to look at it because uh, even people who don't normally uh, listen to the podcast should probably listen to this one since it's important. Damn it. We love you. Yep. And with Good that, night. I'm going to, yep, try to, oh, fuck her. Later, everybody. Oh, also, I'm putting up the SCP video. Look for that. Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. Go out in the face of glory. All right. Too late. Yes. Oh.